Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are. You can trust a man that is mundane and can change in a moment. I can like you today and hate you tomorrow. And if you ask me why, I will say it's my choice. Is that true? I can hate you tomorrow and like you the next tomorrow. When you put your arm, your strength on men, it is so unreliable. The best of any man can change overnight. I can promise to give you more and say I can't remember. And just because my memory failed me, you will be punished. But the Bible says this word has been tried seven times. Listen carefully. It's not just a book that makes people spiritual. It's more than that. This is a compendium of the mind of Christ. Listen carefully. The Bible is a compendium of the ways of God. This is the ancient secret of an unbeatable life. The ancient secret behind strange results. Those who can be foolish enough, foolish enough, childlike enough, Brothers and sisters, this is the book that turns a poor man into levels of stupendous wealth. This is the book that turns a sinner and makes he a man of God out of him. Listen to me. This is the book that turns a man who cannot pay a rent of 10000 to now own an estate. This is a book that can make a confused young man, not knowing what to do with his life, to become one who will govern kings and nations. This book has led many. We are not the first to hold it. There are many ancient hands that held this book. They were stupid enough to read everything there. And they believed God. They believed him. That's the point. It's not just reading it. They saw it. And they believed. And God performed wonders in and through their life. Today we have come in the midst of history. We are not starting anything new. We just have followed them who through faith and patience. When they taught us, they taught us to trust the word. And so we believe the word. Listen, it may not yet look like everything is appearing. But let me tell you the truth. Your destiny is too small to make the word of God fail for the first time. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. God used this word to humble the pride of wicked kings who were, their confidence were built upon divinations that had been tried for a long time. Yet the word of God brought them to their knees. If I trust any other thing in life and I do not trust the word of God, I'm a foolish man. Praise the Lord. This is the secret. I have a name that I call the Bible. I don't call it the Bible. It is my roadmap to accessing the mysteries of the kingdom. I study the Bible like an archaeologist, like someone who has lost a treasure and is looking for it. I keep saying it that the secret to the future is in the past. When you can go behind, the ancient part is not the part of a nomination. The ancient part is a part where you open. What did Jacob see? What did the psalmist see? 
and if the spirit of revelation opens your eyes to see it ah brothers and sisters you create your own reality and walk in it as if satan does not exist this is what makes those who don't understand these mysteries they think that you know when men of god talk like this they are arrogant your reality is based on what your eyes have seen you must believe this your reality is based on what your eyes have seen it is important for you to understand please let me have your attention it is very important there is nothing that is built by magic there is nothing that is built by gimmicks this is it your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and i will forever see Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word, and I will forever sing your praise. I will sing, I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word, and I will forever sing. I will sing, I will sing of the wonders of your word, I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your words, and I will forever sing your praise. Listen, if I ask you to stand up now and I tell you what is the basis of your confidence, somebody will say, My father is coming out for election, and some person in presidency promised him that this turn is his turn to eat. That is complete nonsense. It's human beings that vote somebody in and out and they can change their minds overnight. Another person will say his brother is the manager of XYZ and because he's sitting on money he will bless him. Hear what the Bible says. He says for by the arm of flesh. Did you hear that? By the arm of flesh shall no man prevail no man prevail you know I have become addicted to this book it's not because I'm a preacher Jesus gave a parable I did not understand for many years he said the kingdom is like a man who is looking for a treasure the treasure is missing and then he lights a candle and goes around the room the treasure is not the word the treasure is the result you are looking for but he tells you how to look for it you light the candle you carry an empty candle you you keep roaming around an empty candle is a bible you brought from zondavan and you drop that's an empty candle but when the illumination of the spirit is upon it you carry it and move around when you find it it comes life to you then you communicate a dimension of results that will dumbfound principalities and powers let me tell you don't ever doubt a man whose confidence is based on something he has caught in the world you will be angry forever you will dream forever <sighs> anything that is not a derivative of the word i don't trust it because i don't have control over it the bible says he upholds all things that includes my destiny he upholds all things by the word of his power we need to be a confident people listen not just believers confident people a depth of conviction and persuasion that is brought about by this the illumination of the spirit upon this word so you search for it crime in scriptures is not just it's not the key to understand the word that's not just how it works Many of us have memory of scripture, which is not bad in itself. 
except for the fact that it has no ability to empower you just like that. It's like carrying granite seed and chucking it in your pocket. Do you have a harvest? Will it grow, sir? The word is the seed. That's what Jesus said. The soil is your heart. The rain is the Holy Spirit. You can plant a seed and dry season will kill it into nothing. The seed is not wrong, but the anointing. You see that? The rain that comes upon the seed. Brothers and sisters, please, I want you to pay attention. For every time God gives us the privilege to converge like this, it is not the advancement of a man's agenda. It is the progression of your accessing the mysteries that will cause you to command dominion. Let me tell you something. There is a dimension of light that we are going to project to the world that will dumbfound principalities and powers. Yes. A dimension of light. Young people will rise up with a level of strange prosperity that people will say, no, no, no. Are these guys scammers? Are they fraudsters? We say, no. We found an ancient secret that can allow men to be blessed and focus on their assignment. You see that? You will rise with a strange level of the anointing that will make even herbalists to wonder and say, I'm a herbalist, but this is strange. It will happen. I am an archaeologist. I search it. I don't read the Bible to finish it. I read the Bible to find what I'm looking for. And sometimes you can find one verse and stay there. That's where the goal is. So if you are, all you are doing is just to finish. I read Psalms 5 today. You came close to the gold mine. And carelessness took you away. And you go somewhere. It is scripture. But it's not the word of God. The word of God is that part of scripture that gives you life. <laughs> So many people brag religiously. I started studying the Bible by January and now I'm in Revelation 22. Call the person and say, how many treasures did you find? Even one. One! The only thing they find is an accolade that I searched the scripture. But someone will come with an honest heart and open one scripture. You heard what that gentleman said? He used the way, the truth, the life. Alone. Imagine what else we can find. I've shared with you my vision years ago when I was caught up in the spirit and I saw a big gate and that gate was made of small, small doors. You know, they were opening and closing and light was emitting from every one of them. And then I kept looking and I noticed it was zoomed to me and I saw scripture written on every door. And the doors were opening and closing and I was asking the Lord, what is the meaning of this? And the Lord said, every time you catch a revelation, the light component that is the performer of that revelation anything you claim you have caught and you cannot bring it to the scene is a lie you have not gotten it yet please pray and say lord by your mercy open my eyes today this kind of prayer you must add the mercy of god in it because what else will you say by what lord i cry by your mercy Open my eyes to see. You have spoken great things, but until my eyes see it, there is no possession. It says, as far as your eyes can see. Are we praying? Open my eyes. Show me where the anointing for the next level is. Open my eyes. Show me where the key to my lifting is. Open my eyes. Show me where the river is in the desert. Open my eyes. Oh God, many people will be hearing many things, but show me my own. And the word of the Lord came. And the word of the Lord came. The word of the Lord has always been around. The word of the Lord came. Let my word come. The word of the Lord came.
Hallelujah. Listen, let me teach you something about the mercy of God. Every time you want to access the spirit of revelation, ask the Lord to release it by his mercy. There is no known formula I know for receiving the spirit of revelation. It is by the mercy and the grace of God that the eyes of a man be open. In scripture, the eyes of a man was open when he said, Thou son of David, have He didn't say, thou son of David, don't pass me by. He would have remained there crying till Jesus. That was the last time Jesus would pass Jericho. But I saw a relationship between the mercy of God and the spirit of revelation. Is thou son of David, will I remain blind like this forever? Have. He never said, I want to walk. The walking is a subset of the mercy when illumination come. Oh, I want to see. I want. Mm -mm. Thou son of David, have mercy. It's a language God cannot pass by. No matter what you know to do at once, God hears mercy. He remembers the blood and he turns. What should I do for you? You didn't call me correctly. Oh. I hope you know. Yes, that's why I said mercy. I don't even know your name. I said son of David. Whether you are carpenter or Jesus, I added mercy to my confusion. Have mercy on me. That's how you can see someone will be bragging around. I went to theological school and teaching nonsense and jargons. And someone will sit down and say, Lord, I came from the village. There was no light in our community. But Lord, I know that I've been seeing myself in dreams, ministering and raising the, the dead and watches. Can you open my eyes by your mercy and the spirit of revelation comes? Boom. One scripture. He may not be able to quote everything. One scripture. And with that scripture, you will do exploits. I'd like you to prepare your spirit. Because what I want to share with you tonight will bless you in no small way. People come to the house of God for many years, Jimmy. And you find out that they are not growing. How do you grow? There are two indices for growth. It's no confusion. Number one is the degree to which you are conforming experientially to the image of Christ. Number two, your comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom. If you are not understanding the precepts of the kingdom, you are not growing, sir. Whether they ordain you pastor, apostle, deacon, once you are not accessing the mystery of the kingdom, you are not growing. It's as simple as that. Because that's how we reign in this kingdom. On the strength of mysteries. What do you know now that took away fear from you? The fear you had in January. What entered you that can give you confidence to look at it and say, no way, not again. If your fear of January is still your fear of today, you made the word of God unfruitful in your life. Someone entered this year wondering, and right now, the person is just laughing at the same situation. I say, Satan, no, no, no. That one, that was, that was last year's challenge. You won't talk that nonsense with me again. Because you know what to do. Not bold face for nothing. For Jesus himself knew what to do. My assignment in this ministry is that by the privilege of God's election and grace, I will continue to show you what to do. The result you desire versus the mystery that connects it. That's my assignment. To continue to show you that the kingdom is a compendium of possibilities. But accessing them are predicated upon your knowledge of the mystery allocated for that result. Not the mystery available. The mystery that is allocated. You want to be blessed. Anything in the Bible will not bless you anyway. You have to find the one that is allocated for you. You don't put rice in a pot and when it boils, you lift it up and see beans. You will see food, but not beans. If it's beans you want to cook, you better find out one, where to get beans, two, how to cook it. Correct? So anything in the kingdom is not what you are looking for. There are people who are blessed financially, but this sickness will kill you. You go to the hospital and treat it to refuse to come. Brothers and sisters, there is an allocation. You have to find out. There are pastors who are so anointed. They can raise the dead. But you, they will never have up to 30 members. There is a mystery that keeps men. 
People are not stupid to just come and sit down, sit outside, endure all kinds of things. No, sir. My assignment is that by the agency of the Spirit that I communicate to you the mysteries, when you gather them together like this, it's like a chain that connects you and heaven. When you move in life, the moment a challenge comes, you smile because you understand the key to address it. Fear and ignorance and pain is a revelation of your bankruptcy of the understanding of the mystery that is tied to a result you are looking for. There are things I used to fear years ago. I don't fear them again. I didn't cast out the spirit of fear. Understanding took me out of that realm. You see that? Yes. So please, I want us to focus. When you see us cry for the spirit of understanding, this thing is not just, even this anointing, because you see many people, especially ministers, this is what we are all looking for. Anointing. Anointing is not just a generic oil that comes on your head. This anointing you see has dynamics. It doesn't just work anyhow. How many people are you going to lay hands on on your life? Won't it kill you? There is a system. There are many means of transportation. There is bicycle. There is jet. If you want to arrive Lagos with a bicycle, you may die before you arrive there. That's how the dispensing of the anointing is. You will meet people. There are it, knowing the vehicle is not just enough. You must understand the system of helping it reach people. There's somebody seated outside, another overflow. There's somebody online in another nation. How do you, if all you know is just to lay hands on people, how do you bless those who are far? Please pray before I start teaching one minute and say, Lord, change my level. Insist, please pray. Change my level. Paul said, I went up by revelation. Show me something. Lord, where I am is a revelation of my limited knowledge. I take responsibility and I admit, open my eyes. Satan can't be that powerful. There's something I am not seeing. Lord, I've been falling under the anointing, but that anointing has not healed one sick body. There is something I'm not getting. I have been sowing seeds, but a harvest has not been coming. What is blocking it? What more do I need to know? Hallelujah. Please sit down. <laughs> mm. The Bible says, when you read Ephesians chapter 4, verse 18, it says, having their understanding darkened. Paul is teaching here. And then he says, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. Ignorance alienates a man from the life of God. The experience of that Zoe life. Are we together now? That their understanding is darkened. That's the issue. Then it says that as a result of that darkened understanding, they are being alienated from the experience of the kingdom. So they may have semblance of what should be, but never enter into the experience of it. Most people are not in ignorance of what their life should be. They know what they should become. But the power to make it happen, that is a derivative of light. You know you should be more anointed than now. You know you should be more prosperous. But what is the limitation? It says, having their understanding darkened. And then alienated from the life of God on the strength of the ignorance that is in them. I came angry in my spirit. Oh. We'll, be, we'll pray. I trust God for grace. So that we'll finish fast and just have some few minutes to pray. 1 Peter 5.10 Just one scripture. There is a level of rest. I began to perceive in my spirit 
that many of us were ordained by God to enter this year that we have not entered. And my assignment is to insist that these two months left, we must force something to happen. The Bible says, but the God of all grace, listen, who had called us into eternal glory by Jesus Christ, after you have suffered, the word suffered there is endured, endured with certain things a while, what will he do? Make you perfect, uh-huh, establish you, uh-huh, strengthen you, uh-huh, set to you, give you stability. These four things must happen to someone's life between this November and December. Listen, I really want you to believe me because believers are the ones who are possessors. Are we together? It says after you have and you have put up with certain things for a while, put up with poverty for a while, put up with pain for a while, put up with disappointment. Listen, it can't be forever. No, sir. A book has many pages. When you stay on one page forever, it's a curse. After you have suffered a while, the Bible says weeping and just for a night. If you cry to the next morning, cry in the afternoon, cry till another night, that crying has violated God's ordinances. He allows people to only weep in the night. After you have suffered for a while, make you perfect, establish you, establish you, then he says, strengthen you. All kinds of might, financial might, intellectual might. Then he says, set to you. Set to you. You are unmovable. You have gotten to a level where you are not afraid. Uh -uh. The Lord declared that this is a year of triumph. I believe this. So when God gave me this scripture, it entered my spirit. And the Lord began to communicate to me and say, son, you have not hit my expectation for the year. This triumph, there is, there is something, there is... There is a dimension of testimony that is not yet rampant. Here and there like rain, people are getting it. But it is in a ministry of thousands of people. If only four people testify, has the man of God not failed? Four over thousands is zero. Round it up is zero. So there is a dimension. The services that remain for this year will be very strangely prophetic services. I tell you, there are services meant at pushing people to force the reality of this world. Because brothers and sisters, God cannot lie. God cannot lie. God cannot lie. God cannot lie. So the Lord showed me this scripture and it really, really blessed me. Tonight I'm going to teach very briefly on the mystery of divine intervention. The mystery of divine intervention. What is the spiritual secret behind calling God in the time of trouble and let him show up and bail you out? What is the system in the kingdom that has been built where men, when you need the help of God, when your life is faced with an emergency and you need to call heaven, Brothers and sisters, there are emergencies in our lives that require access to this system. Hmm. The mystery of divine intervention. The Bible is full of near, near shame experiences where God got up, showed up for individuals, showed up for the nation of Israel. God turned the lives of people around overnight let me show you one scripture you will want to know second peter chapter 2 verse 9 learn this scripture add it to your spiritual arsenals you will need it i guarantee you second peter chapter 2 verse 9 i want us to run uh, tonight read it with me please one two read the lord knoweth how to deliver the godly from temptation or oppression or calamities and to reserve the unjust Unto the day, the Lord knows how to exchange experiences. That he looks as child and says, for my name's sake, come promise. That he looks at this person who calls upon his name and watches that this guy is getting into trouble. 
he says God knows how to exchange people and carry this person out and drop the wicked for the punishment that is allocated for the righteous is called intervention there is a system in God listen please there is a system in God where God can plug men out of the fire remember the story of the three Hebrew boys the Bible says they found the furnace seven times that those who threw them inside the furnace listen they threw them inside the furnace and the heat killed them and when four of them were inside the king was not a believer but the king had had strange encounters and he saw a face in that fire he had seen in his dream he said i i look and i see four people and the appearance of the fourth is like the son of god and the bible says they came out they could not even smell fire what of daniel that was thrown in the den of the lions because of his prayer life the bible says the lions were at peace with him and when he came out and they threw those other fellows the lions just devoured them brothers and sisters there is a mystery there is a hidden code of operation allocated to the saints in light to help them deliver them out of all the troubles and the vicissitudes that satan puts because you see your destiny is a function of many things and sadly it includes the lives of others and that also includes their carelessness there are times you will get into things you necessarily did not cause but you will suffer the consequence if you don't know how to exempt yourself this is like an extension of the mystery of exemption the mystery of divine intervention where men called upon God and God showed up and turned the lives of nations around turned the lives of individuals around there is a way you call upon God for your personal prayer life but brothers and sisters there is a way you call upon God to intervene on a matter that if he does not intervene sometimes it may be that you are finished There was a time death was killing people in Israel. Killing people. There was a way they called on God. Divine intervention is real. All through scripture, we see that God is able to arise. Psalms 102 verse 13. It says, Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time in God's calendar, there is a time, oh, there is a time to favor Joshua Selman. There is a time to lift me. And you see, the Bible says in Amos chapter 3 verse 9, that God does not do anything but to reveal his secret to his servants, the prophets. So when God is about to do something in a territory, he captures his thoughts in words, in, in similitudes, in, in all kinds of expressions, communicates it to his servants to deliver to the people so that their faith will be connected to what he wants to do in the season. And God has declared that it's a season of triumph. I believe God. It's not just a cliche that a man of God comes to move ministry forward. No, sir. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time, the time to favor her, the time to lift her, the time to honor her. For God's sake, the time to wipe her tears. The time for Zion to say, I am also the bride of a good man. He says the time has come thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her yea the set time is come many people want intervention intervention is the supernatural is a supernatural visitation over a man's situation that brings a radical transformation supernatural visitation of God supernatural visitation of God all of a sudden God steps in overnight and changes a man's situation overnight he says have you heard this proverb that a city was born in one day he said but as soon as Zion travails in one day she shall put forth a son Why do we need divine intervention? Because of our imperfection as human beings. 
the first reason that necessitates divine intervention is that we are inaccurate as human beings our inaccuracy as human beings inaccuracy of understanding and obeying the precepts of god will necessitate god to create that provision are we together if a young man drinks and smokes and gets to a point where he now repents when his liver is quarter to die he has repented but the liver is still going to kill him that gentleman doesn't just need a healing he needs a divine intervention when somebody repents in the prison and is supposed to say 80 years and he went there at 40 you see that he's going to die in the prison he needs divine intervention he's born again but he's in the prison our families are in desperate need for divine intervention is that true father not working mother not working 13 children 10 of them not working all of them graduates Haba. there is need for a strange intervention how about human agents that will sit on your destiny and vow and say for as long as we are here we fraternize with darkness to jeopardize your confidence about god i wish there was no such reality but brothers and sisters the bible did not leave us in the dark as to the wickedness that lies in our world i was talking with a young man on phone who sent me a text i think they worship one kind of idol and the father has been calling him i should come back there's something he's supposed to do the guy said he's not coming back after graduating from school they are asking you to come they will buff you put something on your head like a cap and one kind of ritual like this after that they will say you can go the guy said it's not coming and the man told him that that thing whatever it is will pursue him and look for him his blood father the boy was speaking to me and I said let me tell you my brother if you go there and carry yourself and go and sit down under that whatever it is and they bath you with the blood of an animal and do those rituals uh -uh, God is able rather than wasting your time paying transport use the money and buy a book that reveals a mystery that you you keep the enemy at bay because what that shrine is trying to prevent him from will look for him if he doesn't have the mystery allocated he can make bold face and say i won't go but you will soon find out that it will happen to him first child dull second child very dull that child very dull and the person says i'm brilliant my wife is brilliant and he sees that thing in a dream he say i i told you 10 years ago you would have rescued your children see don't reject darkness without having the light component don't just say i reject darkness eh, every shine in my village god forbid it's a joke you must have the light component otherwise i tell you to hunt you and tear you into pieces there are forces of darkness We need divine intervention because of our inaccuracy. We need divine intervention because, listen, the pace at which darkness attempts to destroy us versus our level of spiritual growth will require divine intervention at some point. Now, look at me. Listen, let me tell you something. In the next 10 years, there are things that I will know then that I don't know now. But Satan is plotting all kinds of schemes over my life based on the knowledge I need to know 10 years to come I need intervention by the mercy of God to give me victory before I enter that level of understanding if my victory is purely left to my level of understanding alone it means that I will be punished on many grounds before I come into that knowledge you need divine intervention is God speaking to someone here let me tell you this i am very outspoken about results i'm not a man of god that will lie to you and say results don't matter it's a lie it's a lie if results don't matter why do you go to work why do you wait for salary at the end of the month is that true results matter to god matter to the devil matters to everybody on earth whether we agree or not 
results are consolations to your Christian experience. Whilst it is true that we do not serve God just for results, but brothers and sisters, let me tell you, even Jesus saw a fig tree that was receiving nourishment from the principle he programmed in the earth and was not yielding the result. He caused it in annoyance. So God wants us to bear fruit. But there are keys that we must understand. Please look up. There are many of us here and there are many of our family members here had they known that there is a mystery that controls divine intervention many tragedies we now weep over would not have happened listen carefully are we together now yes somebody looked at you and vowed and said pastor alpha i will destroy you we said no problem you wouldn't destroy me but you did not understand the component the revelation component and eventually it caught up with you I prayed for a lady. She probably may be following now online. Married, loved her husband. All of a sudden, the husband just changed and became a, a very, very funny man. Doesn't even stay in the same room with her and all of that. And she, she could not take it again and she called me. You know, I prayed with that lady and just this morning, she sent me a text. She said she woke up in the morning and just saw her husband sitting by her bed something brought him listen listen this is what I, you see men are slaves to the mysteries that control them you can program things like a bomb in the spirit and just go and watch it the same way i can put a bomb and i program blow by eight o'clock and then i just move somewhere and i'm laughing at everybody around here because it must blow except another agency superimposes it this is how you can program results in the realm of the spirit and watch like a movie as they unfold in the earth realm using things you call circumstances coincidences but you know that they are intentional results that were programmed by mysteries this is how i want your life to be that you can sit down and program growth program speed program breakthrough and watch everything like a movie and day after day you watch someone get up and say sorry elijah I, I i hope this is a new keyboard i bought for you and you laugh something was programmed your house that has been 10 years refused to be completed you program something by understanding and someone comes to say ah, sam i don't know do you mind me complete this house and you will say yes because it was intentionally done you don't say i'm surprised you are coming i'm not surprised you were called are we together that's why when people die in the villages the harbalists don't cry have you ever seen them crying no something they programmed they program somebody from london and tell him where to come and die when he dies other people are crying at the guys as well it's just to let you know that we are not children you can program things from the foundations of the earth some things were programmed and the intelligence of the father he watched everything unfold through redemption no power could stop it satan tried he entered he went when jesus was fasting now came and entered peter now came and entered when he entered judas i'm sure satan thought he was smart paul was watching it like a movie and say yeah yeah had they known this so this was the caricature that god was making out of satan he thought he was smart but he was god was using him as a slave because you see when you kill a man according to scripture his blood will haunt you so god made sure it was satan that killed jesus Go and read your Bible. Blood is a mystery. It remains on the head of the killer forever. Paul was watching this. Whether he was in a hole, in a cave, in prison, I don't know. But Paul was saying, ah, ah. Satan, couldn't you see? Jesus casted you out of Peter and left you in Judas. You didn't ask why. You just continued until you became a fool. That's the reason why when we invoke the blood, something really happens. It happens to whoever was the killer. When Cain killed Abel, blood cried against him. Cried against him. <laughs> I 
I need divine intervention. You need divine intervention. Samaria needed divine intervention. Please sit down. They got to a point. Scripture says, come. That they got to a point where women. Can you imagine brothers and sisters? That you get to a point where you are not just eating goats. You are not just eating clothes. Women. You have your child. I'm telling you. There is a strange grace this year. For fruitfulness and miracles in this ministry. We have seen very dramatic manifestations and, and all of that. There are mothers all around with their children moving right and center. Now imagine Pastor Alphas, that little baby. Imagine Annie holding this her child and saying, look, there is so much poverty. Pastor Alpha travels somewhere to go and look for food. And she liasses with a Jimmy's wife. Two of them, they carry Jael and carry David. And two of them stand and agree. And they say, we are eating Jael this night. You eat it. What sort of hunger makes you eat a whole human being? Now watch this. Then the Bible says they ate the first one. Then the next day, it was the turn to eat the other one. And the mother said, no. And the woman said, no, you ate my child. Listen, while that confusion was happening, the king started passing and they went they said king you can't leave us like this and when all of that happened the king said look for Elisha for me look for Elisha for me because he had that Elijah program farming he said I'm sure Elisha has a hand in this trouble go and look for this 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 guy was mentored by the troublemaker of Israel go and look for Elisha watch this while all of this suffering was happening the Bible says Elisha and the sons of the prophet were, he didn't say they were hungry. When he saw the king coming, he said, this son of a murderer wants to now come and kill me. Oh, yeah, you push, you stop him. And because of that, it's okay now. He's called my attention. Let me casually do something about what is killing a nation. By this time, Kabakoto Sakataya. By this time, tomorrow. By this time tomorrow, listen, he didn't tell you how it will happen. If you understand the superiority of the realm of the spirit, you will never ask how results manifest. You see, let me tell you something. When people argue and say, how did this thing happen? They are not wise. The raw materials that create the earth are resident within the realm of the spirit. He said, by this time tomorrow, by this time, I'm hurrying up. I would have given you scriptures, but I really want us to pray. That by this time tomorrow, they call, hey, please help them. This will cause this and that. And then a foolish man, like many doubters that insult men of God, he said, what are you saying? I, I mean, I'm the minister of this and that. I read this and that. Even if the windows, AJ, he knew that much that heaven had a window. With what did they build the window? He never asked. If God will open the window, will these things be? And the prophet said to me, you will see it all. But they will kill you in front of that breakthrough. Then look at how the miracle happened. The prophecy had been programmed in the spirit. Now it is up to the word. This is where the wisdom of God starts. He starts searching for scenarios in the earth that can bring what is in the spirit to manifest. Are you seeing how prophecy comes to pass? Watch this. Look at this. Let me teach you something. Watch this. Look at me and learn. If I prophesy to you, Emeka, and say by tomorrow, if it is really by the spirit, I say by tomorrow, money is coming to your account. I have placed that word in the spirit. Hold on. The word manifests by the wisdom of the spirit. Let me tell you what the wisdom of the spirit is. It will start searching the earth to look for the scenario on earth that is capable of bringing that word down. Then connect it to the individual. Listen. The wisdom of God will move to a rich man. If it's not open, it will move to somebody who God had instructed to. So if it will keep moving like that. That's how the anointing got to Mary to be the mother of Jesus. The Bible never said the name of the mother of Jesus will be Mary. The prophecy started searching for a virgin. When he found one and she said, I'm available, he brought her out.
Listen. There are too many activities on earth that can mirror what is happening in the heavens for God to be bankrupt in terms of manifestation. When God says, I want to bless you, who is already speaking to millions of people to sow. It's just that he has not told them who to sow. The wisdom of God can just connect one of them. You see how prophecy works. I'm helping your faith so that when God says, I will do this, you now sit with your limited mind and say, I only know Uncle A and B. And I already know A promise you will never see me. And God is saying, no, we are talking about the wisdom of the creator. Look at what happened. Four lepers. Everybody say four lepers. Four lepers were sitting quietly. And the wisdom of God. The spirit of wisdom. Because the word of God must come to pass. The man of God had declared it. And the, the anointing came on the lepers. They thought they were just tired. But they didn't know that at that point. They were under the influence of a man of God. And the word started programming that result. They say why sit here till we die. Even that talk was by the spirit. They thought they were gisting. And they said, look, let's just get up and go to the camp of our enemies. And tell them, kill us, but let's eat first. The Bible says the moment they began to go, God changed their people. They began to hear the sounds of chariots. And all of, listen, were they not warriors? Is it not fight they fought to get those things? Couldn't they fight again? When God wants to bless you, he will mumu your enemy in a way that you will not even know how things happen. I know I should not graduate, but there is a mystery that can be programmed. A man is watching your result. 37 over 50. You need 50. Something comes on him and he, and he does not even know. Listen. Listen. People, some people hear the testimony of some of our some of the people who wrote jam here that jam changes from 100 and something to two and you hear them talking nonsense talking stupid things and saying how can it happen and i said look, look at this foolishness how does a boil come out of your stomach where did the mass accumulate from that projected out did any part of your body reduce for it to come out did he ask where it came from then when it disappears, you say, where did it go to? You see how we think? Son of man, can these bones live again? Immediately, oh, not after 10 years, not gradually. Can these bones live again? He said, God, I've seen many miracles, but I've not seen this type. That a dry bone. It's not like a dead human being. I believe in raising the dead, but dry bones. And he said, okay, I want to show you something. That when I show up, I compress time and make things happen. And he said, prophesy. Prophesy. And things began to shift. Listen. It is too late when mysteries have been programmed in the spirit. Take it from me. The moment a man programs something in the spirit, you better find a way of countering it in the spirit. Otherwise, it must manifest. <laughs> this is what Habalists do. They conjure things. They conjure spirits. And then they tell the person, go, it is done. At the point they said, go, it is done. He didn't feel anything. Oh, go. We shall be, we put your husband in a bottle and you saw it go it is done the woman will go home and still see her arrogant husband come back and she'll be laughing you're already in a bottle two days later physical things start happening in the earth to force him to confirm to what has been programmed after one week the man becomes a toy to her because the realm of the spirit must so you look at a woman who is barren it may look like you just touched her stomach but it's more than that mysteries were programmed in the spirit he said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man he says the power of the highest brothers and sisters i came to prophesy to someone it will be a quick walk oh it will be a quick walk it will be a quick walk i tell you except it's not the god i told you that the remaining services don't miss them they will be help them please they will be strongly prophetic services 
strongly prophetic services it will be a quick walk there is a mystery that can push men false prophecy push men it is possible that in one day something can happen to you and you will turn and say god i'm sorry for doubting you when it was time for the animals to enter the ark of noah he didn't call one of them something was manipulated in the spirit all the animals started lining up regardless of their hostilities they lined up and came quietly listen let me tell you something the day i learned the vanity of the physical realm compared to the spiritual realm i stopped wasting my time about physical things trust me i really mean it i saw how helpless the physical realm is that a body without a spirit is dead i stopped wasting my time those who do business do it in the spirit realm they program things in the spirit realm and just watch like strangers how things manifest you program favor and you come and see strangers bringing blessings and people say how is it happening you see what is happening in this ministry submit to you it was programmed it's not a coincidence something took you from where you were and brought you here it's not just that you like a man no it's a mystery that is the same thing that will put a baby in the barren womb it's not when a man meets his wife that she gets pregnant to a man meets his wife to give the child physical form do you believe what i'm saying because let me tell you something one of the things we are going to do tonight is to change some things there are results that are wrong something programmed it it may be our ignorance it may be something i bring you a message of hope the realm of the spirit is still there that means there is still an ability to access it please sit down i'm just trying to compose myself my spirit is boiling this night listen listen i have experimented this thing too many times too many times too many times you can program favor you can program breakthrough listen you can program judgment on the wicked you can program speed the word of god is an instrument of creation you can create realities that were not there when you hear people testify it's not like the testimony was waiting somewhere a word created it when you are programming mysteries you don't attach a face to it the wisdom of god will create the actors of that mystery in the physical realm you don't say god bless me through my uncle uh -uh. i have accessed the principles that brings a blessing it is god that will start sourcing for the men that will act the movie that will bring your breakthrough he can use a donkey he can use stone it doesn't matter the most important thing is that let it come Are we together? Yes. Ah, I tell you, believe me, brothers and sisters, when I tell you there are more angels on this ground than people sitting. There are more angels, angelic presence. I don't know if it's because of what I'm teaching tonight, but I prayed for strange intervention, angelic interventions, and the Lord is just opening my eyes, and I'm seeing that there are numerous angels battalions of angels every time god opens do you know why when i speak like this people start manifesting under the anointing because you see when you are open to the realm of the spirit portal is created immediately do you understand and when that portal is created there must be an effect remember when paul saul now saw jesus those there did not see but there was an effect from the realm of the spirit i'm explaining it because it's nothing strange but i stand and i see angels inside outside like this i'm even on that fence you are seeing i'm seeing all kinds of things happening 
and this is by the power of the spirit i believe that not all the angels are the same they are according to their ranking and their functions according to what kind of intervention must manifest because see our challenges are not the same i know some of you may not have issues but let me tell you there are people the issues you have require recovery restoration judgment on somebody so there are angels that are allocated for that kind of thing was it not an angel that used hailstone and killed hundreds of thousands of people overnight please help them Mandekatos, I release angels, strange ministry of intervention, Brakoto Soto Ketabarata, Zegetekata, by the authority of the Most High, angelic interventions over lives and families, it must end tonight. In the name of Jesus, it's a year of triumph, it must end tonight. Shkapatakatos. Zeketekete, zekete, reketo koso pariata, e po shabababababa, manda kato sakata, thou shall arise, thou shall arise, thou shall arise, and have mercy upon Zion. Thou shall arise. God is arising over a family. God is arising over a family. Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. You see, Ba, when you come before God's presence, the Bible tells us that upon Mount Zion, many things happen. The innumerable company of angels. These things are not fables. The Bible is not a book for religious people. It is life. It is true. It is our own belief that has made it look like a storybook. That you come to his presence and there is a strange intervention. I say it again in the name of Jesus. As I begin to teach, I've not finished. But in Jesus name, I release the ministry of angels. I release the ministry of angels that whilst the teaching is going on let intervention start in the name of Jesus Christ strange interventions strange interventions please sit down if you can please help those outside very quickly I will give us four keys Let's use 10 minutes. Sorry, I will not be explaining it in depth. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. I feel the spirit of prayer here. There are four keys to provoking divine intervention. Every time you are in a situation where you need the help of heaven urgently, do these four things. And you will change the tides in a way that will surprise you. Listen, brothers and sisters, as you learn these mysteries, please use them. Don't be too big to use them. Be childlike and apply them. You will be surprised. These are not cunningly divine fables. These are things that I do myself. They are not necessarily things I'm just telling you just for, for you know, just the sake of it. The first thing to do when you are in need of strange intervention is engage in the ministry of prayer.
Number one, please quickly, prayer. I'll give you two scriptures and then we'll, we'll be able to look at two. Write it down, please. Acts chapter 12 from verse 5 to 11 talks about Peter. Don't, don't project it. I just want to hurry up. In Acts chapter 12 from verse 5 to 11, the Bible tells us how that James was caught by Herod. He was beheaded. And when it pleased the Jews, he now caught Peter and locked him. And then the Bible says the brethren began to pray. Whilst they began to pray, an angel came into the prison, brought Peter out. Peter even thought he was having a vision until he took him out and then Peter was free. We see that prayer was part of the instruments that were used, was used to bring strange and divine intervention. Acts chapter 12 from verse 5 to 11. Please write this down. Acts chapter 16 from verse 25 to 34. It's a long reading. Don't project it. Just write it down. Acts chapter 16 from verse 25 to 34. This was um, a scenario where Paul casted out the demon from the lady that was using divination to prophesy. And then the people got angry and they mobbed them, you know, and then the Bible says that they chained them and they were kept under the custody of a jailer. Then the Bible says Paul and Silas prayed and they sang and the Bible says everyone in the prison had them. All of a sudden there was an earthquake. And then the Bible says the things broke and all doors open. I like that. All doors. It didn't say some doors. When the chain broke, all doors. The doors of the prison of other people connected to them also open. All doors open. Prayer can open doors. James chapter 5 verse 13. Maybe you can project that. He said, is any of you afflicted? Let him pray. Prayer is the... Re biblical recommendation for affliction if any of you afflicted he said let him pray so whenever you are afflicted the key is to pray you may not know what to do i'm teaching you what to do now but regardless of what the situation is pray especially engaging in the spirit the most the most sound way to engage warfare prayers especially is to pray in the spirit first as you pray in the spirit the holy spirit begins to construct the scriptures in your mind you will not utter them just as words you will utter them as prophecies that's what we leave to bring the result so the first key is not just to start talking uh, you take out time and pray in the spirit that's why it is important to be filled with the holy ghost with a clear evidence of praying in tongues it's not a phenomenon for Pentecostals there is a dimension of victory you will never be able to command are we blessed is any among you afflicted has any of you received a bad report has any of you been told that you have so 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 time to live has any strange spirit appeared to anybody and said you will not see Christmas so when others are rejoicing don't join them the key is not to get up and cry has any stranger come to you while you sleep and try to molest you and you just got up and said this thing has come again no sir has the door for close towards you so the people who used to help you suddenly have changed the people who used to like you suddenly have changed the doors that used to bring you blessings have changed something is suddenly happening to your spiritual life prayer zero word life zero you need an intervention prayer the scripture i want us to read now is psalms 18 never forget this scripture It's one of the arsenals that i have for my personal um it's a scripture that has blessed me i have prayed this scripture if if this scripture was a shook by now i would have maybe the soul would have eaten into pieces i'm giving you a piece of my secret place psalm 18 don't ever forget that scripture don't ever forget it for as long as you live if you are a leader going far this is a chief tool that you need we're going to read from verse 1 to 6 then i'll pick for you the verses we're reading it's a long verse ready please give it to us one to six i will love thee O lord my strength the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Listen, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord 
I will do what? Call upon the Lord in prayer who is worthy to be praised. So by calling upon him shall I be saved from my enemies. Verse 4. The sorrows of death compass me. This is a man in trouble. And the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compass me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, hallelujah. I didn't discuss it with people who cannot help me. I called upon the Lord and cried upon unto my God. He heard my voice from out of his temple. And my cry came before him. Even to where? Even to his ears. There is a kind of cry that enters the ears of the mighty God. Let's jump to verse 14, then to 17, then 40 to 45. It's a quick reading. Verse 14. Yea, he sent out his arrows. God has arrows. So, hey, look up. I learned this. I was checking arrows. You know, arrows that fly by day. And then I found out that it's not only the devil. God, the Bible says, yeah, this is him intervening for me. These are part of the forces from his cabinet of judgment that he can release. He says he sent out his arrows and scattered them. And he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. 17. Please give us 17. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me for they were too strong for me. Verse 40. Thou hast also given me the necks of my enemy that I may destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them. Even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. 42. We are really reading to 48. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. And did cast them out of the dirt in their streets. 43. Oh dear. Media. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of my people. And thou hast made me the head of the hidden. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. Pastor, you need this for your ministry. Oh. When you open a branch in a locality that you don't know, there are people who need to come and As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves to me. 45. Verse 45. The strangers shall shake, fade away and be afraid out of their close places. Now, 47 to 48 is a scripture I don't want you to ever forget. Ready? Go ahead. Give us, well, go to 47. Go to 47. It is God that avenged me and subdued the people under me. Who did it? Who did it? It says it is God that avenged me and subdued the people under me. 48. He delivered me from my enemies. Yea, thou lifted me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Divine intervention. As a man of God, there are wicked forces day and night to destroy you. As a leader, there are wicked forces. But when you catch this and catch the revelation, you will walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And the Lord will be with you mysteriously. You will not travel and sit down and be shaking. Will a car jam me? Will it break my leg? Will it break my head? No, sir. Rest and quietness on the strength of scripture. Everybody say prayer. We need to learn how to call upon the Lord. Listen, do you know most people don't know how to call upon the Lord. They know how to lament. Hey, oh, you are not calling upon the Lord. You are shouting a lamentation, a, a strategy for lamentation that you inherited. He said unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul? Oh my God, let me not be ashamed, oh. Let not my enemies triumph over me. There is a way you can pray with God. Sometimes like Anna, you can't even shout. It's not something, you, you just lie down and say, oh God, 
oh God, deliver me from the shame of the wicked. There are enemies that are waiting to see you fail so that it will be their prophecy fulfilled. Lord, confound their, their counsel. And God will say, it got to my ear. I had it. I'm on my way coming. Prayer. Number two. The second key when you want to activate the mystery of divine intervention is to engage praise with understanding. Praise. Praise. Praise as an instrument of warfare and praise as an instrument of faith. Praise as an instrument of warfare but that you are blessing him in advance. Listen. This revelation is fast becoming a national anthem in the body of Christ. People are suddenly coming to the realization that praise can work wonders. You know, people don't know why the presence of God is still mighty in Africa. It's because Africa is a praising continent. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They laugh at us and think that when we are dancing is nonsense. Praise is a mystery. You want to turn around your situation? No matter what you do, if you have not praised, there is no Lord. Believe me. Lord, give us understanding. Psalm 22 verse 3. It says, Thou art holy, thou that inhabitest the praise of Zion. God makes the praise of men his habitation. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Joshua Selman. Listen, I've taught us how to praise. You don't praise God without dancing. That, that is nonsense. You are, you are singing a national anthem. It's when you are reciting national anthem that you stand and put your hand on your chest. Moving your body is not a sign of, it's not, you are not, you have problems. You can cry but still praise. Are we together? It's, this is a, it's a powerful mystery I want you to learn. Our father bishop David Oedeko, when he almost had a few weeks ago, he almost had a plane crash that would have taken his life. As soon as that happened, they declared praise. I said, oh dear, spiritual intelligence. Let me tell you what other people would have done. They would have organized a cocktail party and said, you know, we, and the devil, the devil said, that's, I'm coming back. Praise. Praise is one of the most powerful ways to disgrace the devil. Because you see, let me tell you, one of depression is the absence of laughter and joy. Satan uses when people are about to die, there are few people who die smiling. Most people are depressed, then they keep quiet. He says that the joy of the Lord shall be your strength. So when there is no joy, your spirit becomes broken, and the Bible says a broken spirit dryeth the bones. You don't praise God when things are going well. You praise God to make them go well. Listen, you don't praise God when, when things are going well and you praise God. It's called thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the dance you give and the testimony you give when things have manifested. But before they manifested, it's called perfected praise. Praise with understanding. Lord, you are so good. You are worthy of all my praise. Lord, you are so good. You are exalted as the Lord most high. Hold on. Listen. Let me tell you what Satan will tell you. The moment you sing that, he will tell you, is it not your sister that just died? Is it not five carryovers we are seeing? Or God, did they not just sack you? Ah. The gentleman that has been promising to marry you. Is it not by 8 a.m. this morning? He says he's not doing again. The devil brings it because he knows. You see, Satan knows that we function in the realm of the flesh. The senses. Are we together now? So he brings things that resonate with your senses. When you see them, you are now depressed. But that's the time. Anytime you are praising God. Satan says, why are you praising him? Say, no reason. I'm praising him to create my testimony. You see that? 
listen corporate dancing and praising is good but you must learn to do this thing alone if it means you trusting God to get one small room for yourself for the purpose of praise is worth it oh is worth it reserve the 40,000 for shoes and use it to pay for a small room put worship wake up in the night because there is personally me I don't have time to do that dance and praise in the afternoon all kinds of calls distracting in the night oh dear oh dear ask God what I do in the night yes yes sometimes I carry koinonia documents drop it on the ground dance before it and shame the devil I carry my phone put it there not dancing before them I say Lord you are great I dance before you people are coming from everywhere rain or no rain publicity or no publicity and God says you are doing this for me I say Lord who else will I do it for and you are celebrating him Lord you are faithful and you are worshipping him you are sweating like a fool and while you are doing that God is dispatching angels okay make sure you wake that guy to transfer money to his account that hundred thousand I gave you I didn't tell you who to send it to send it to him oh his mother is at home for giving birth to him send an angel there too and my innocent mother is lying down she'll wake up in the morning and say mama where are you say who are you say just come take my praise this our big manism has cheated us beyond imagination this pride that you don't have results and you are still talking you know ah I, how can okay i agree that you can't you think i can dance look at me you think no 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 god i don't have that gift of dancing it's not a competition this is your destiny this is breakthrough if a thief puts a gun and says you should dance won't you do something some of us when we were in the world you know the kind of dance demonic satanic dance that you did for the devil for free that destroyed you you got drunk dancing it a spirit entered you dancing it i'm not saying you should dance all kinds of nonsense dance in the house of god but i'm saying there, there are times you need to learn to sing and dance alone with listen listen most people dance you can turn your dancing time to a nightclub and god will look at you and say you are wasting your time it is the revelation that makes the singing and the dancing profitable don't just move your body around just because you are happy that, that's that's entertainment brothers and sisters there is the kind of dance that you dance with tears in your eyes but you are doing it with understanding don't think you will only always be laughing are you hearing what i'm saying yes no job for you no job for your wife no job for your five children they are all graduates you have prayed oh nothing happened brothers and sisters try singing and celebrating god everyone in their room rejoicing jesus you are full and you are just dancing let me tell you what will happen the lord will start bringing testimonies remember when a cow would have killed you in 1995 and you say lord i remember oh, and you start dancing it you are you are compressing doubt because something is about to be created you will dance and dance till you fall under the anointing there and get up and clean yourself and be tired and sleep and wake up and drag yourself brothers and sisters you have programmed something in the spirit you will get up in the morning and just dress and say father thank you and get a phone call who is this i'm seeing a document that has been here four years on my table who are you so I finished for what did you read? Anyway, it's not what you read. Where are you? Come quickly. I like you. Ha! You just know that praise is working. Praise is working. Let the people praise me. Psalm 67, verse 5 to 7. Let the people praise me. It's an instruction. The earth has been programmed to deliver certain results, but let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Verse 6. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our God, shall bless us. You can stop there. 
Zephaniah. It may be difficult for some of us to find, but just write. Media, please give it to us. Zephaniah chapter 3. Let's read 14 to 20. I hope we can just quickly hurry up. Zephaniah. Chapter 3. Zephaniah. Chapter 3 and verse 14. We're reading to verse 20. Listen. It says, sing, O daughter of Zion. It's not talking about a lady. It's talking about human beings. You must read the Bible prophetically. When he says daughter, find out what he means. There are times in the Bible, all people are sons. There are times all people are daughters. Are we together? So don't think he's talking to ladies. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all the heart. O daughter of Jerusalem. We're reading to verse 20. The Lord had taken away thy judgments and has cast out thine enemy, the king of Israel. Even the Lord is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not. And to Zion, let not thine hands be slack. We're reading to verse 20. Give us 17. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with what? Singing. Singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly. Who are of thee. To whom the reproach of it was a burden. Verse 19. Behold at that time. I will undo all that afflict thee and I will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out. I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Hmm. At that time, I will bring you again even in the time that I will gather you for I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes, say the Lord. You read that scripture and say, Lord, whether you understand it or not, I am dancing with this revelation that you are turning something. I can see everything. Hey, hey. Do you see everything? I can see everything. One more time. Can see everything turning around. Please sit down. When you go back home, continue. 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 Apostle, I don't have a house. Find a tree. Find somewhere. It is a place that will give you a house, my brother. I'm staying with neighbors. I don't want to disturb them. Find somewhere. Behind one rock. You don't have to shout and disturb the neighborhood. Just engage in praise. Glorify God. You may be tired, but it's called a sacrifice of praise. Brothers and sisters, do this and see how things will turn in your life. There's nothing the devil can do with someone who is full of joy and glory. This gloominess that you see people tie their face around, it doesn't bring breakthrough. It adds to your sorrow. You loosen up and say, Father, you are faithful. You are tying your face around and people say, why, are you? why should I not tie my face? Or will you pay my rent for me? My brother, it's praise that will pay that rent. So you turn everything and rejoice. Let me tell you what many people will say who see you engaging this. <laughs> because they don't mind all these men of God. They are turning you people to be stupid. You see that? But when you meet them for rent, they won't give you. If you want God's result, follow his methods. Number three, quickly. The third key to activating the mystery of divine intervention is called seed faith. Say after me, seed faith. Listen, I know that giving has been abused. Listen carefully, please. Outside, online, listen carefully. I know that giving has largely been abused because it has looked like some manipulation 
and journalists and bloggers have not done justice because they have mixed everything and made it look like giving and sacrifice is some gimmicks to corner money and give a man of God. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. Something I do all the time, including today. Every time you are in a situation, listen please. Every time you are in a situation that only God can step in with understanding, having prayed, package a seed, speak to that seed and give it an instruction. And sow that seed, release. If you just sow money, it's bribery. It's not the money. Revelation. The Bible is full of the potent power of seed faith. Connecting your faith with a seed and a sacrifice to provoke God's hand for intervention. I've done it countless times on behalf of this ministry. I've done it countless times on behalf of myself, my family, my friends, people I love. Seeds. The seed that is in your hand can create a destiny that will surprise you if you know what to do with it. Please listen to me. Don't think I'm asking you to give me money. No. There are people who when they hear this, they just frown their face. Not at all. Not at all. God has been faithful to me. Are we together? Listen. There are people who have turned their lives around overnight. If there is one thing I know in my little walk with God is that your seed can bruise the head of the serpent. I promise you. I have seen people quarter to shame. Everything was against them. It was obvious they are finished. And they used their seed and turned the hands of life in a way that you cannot imagine. My life is full of sacrifices. Psalm 126, don't turn there. Verse 1 to 6, you write it. That when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, he said we were like them that dream. The first six verses. The, la the sixth verse ends by saying, they that sow in tears. The whole verses are connected. Verse 6 is connected to verse 1. God turning away the captivity of Zion like a dream. He says that they that sow in tears will reap in joy. He that weepeth, bearing precious seeds, the Bible says, shall doubtless return rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves. It's not every seed. To be cheerful does not mean to laugh. To be cheerful means that there be a merriment in your heart. There are some times you will cry for the seed you sow. Hallelujah. Someone came over to my place today and the Lord instructed him to bring me a seed. And quite a very serious seed. Just, you know, a military officer just came, dropped the seed. And when I saw it, the seed was in dollars. I said, wow, in this recession, this seed and the lord told me no 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 no. make sure you don't touch it this is your seed for something and the lord told me i started dancing i said thank you jesus this is it. when god gives you seed to sow is intervention no? getting the seed to sow is an act of god's mercy that you say lord i must provoke this but i have no seed then he gives seed to the sower those who know only know how to eat anything plus their destiny, they keep getting bread. But those who want to create a future. Brothers and sisters, I have created realities in my life with seeds. I believe in the power of a seed. Listen, don't let people because of their cynicism. The imbalance, when a man creates an imbalance in scripture... You don't avoid that truth because it has been abused. You bring it to context and teach people. Brothers and sisters, a seed can change your life. Believe me. I have done crazy things in my life. I thank God that it's only God that reveals, that, that it's only God that knows the heart of men. There are things if I tell you that I have done with seeds, some of you, you are not related to me, but you will be angry. You will remove your shoe and stone me with it. 
and say you are very stupid in this recession see it there was a year i've shared it again and again that god gave us an instruction we were just resuming koinonia and god gave an instruction he said so everything 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 i don't mean small so everything let it go i said thank you jesus you are ready to lift us that is revelation by faith abel offered you offer by faith you don't offer by by tricks and all kinds of no 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 and we release it brothers and sisters it didn't reach seven days seven days more than ten times that amount came seeds i'm not saying you should give carelessly no but brothers and sisters the seed that is in your hands can silence a spirit that has destroyed your destiny for years nobody is moving forward in your family you are just sitting down and god is saying look you have to provoke heavens with a sacrifice one day you get angry and say lord i am tired of this anna did not have money to give but she said lord let's do it give me the child i've given the child already as a seed and god said it's a done deal there was a king in the bible who they wanted to slaughter and defeat it was very clear the nation of israel would defeat them and he carried his son his future and slew the child the bible says an indignation rose up to heaven battle ended when god wanted to redeem man it was an issue of urgency god carried jesus the lamb upon the throne slew him jesus cried and god said that's not the issue man must be saved this greed over the little we have is what has destroyed us get used to money leaving you to go and wait for you in your future get used to it you may not have a seed but brothers and sisters let me tell you there are many ways to give money is not the only seed it's just the seed that can easily be exchanged that's why there are times that people have made radical sacrifices do you believe what i'm teaching you principles of divine intervention trace your life at the moment where god gave you specific instructions that you did things that almost brought tears from your eyes and watch what happened you just did not study it enough to know how to keep it going mm. i hardly share my testimonies i stopped because i found out that it annoys a lot of people and i'm not ready to attract unnecessary um you know people once they hear preachers talk there are people who just get angry just like that it's nonsense brothers and sisters learn to sow seeds but the most powerful part of sowing seeds is to give them instructions this is the mistake many of us have been making you package a seed some of you come and join the line apostle here is a seed i'm sowing i always ask people what is this for and the people say for nothing just i just feel like seeing you that's a donation that's a donation brothers and sisters all seeds are not the same there is a seed you give to the poor there is something it does to you there is a seed that you give to widows and orphans there is a kind of result there is a seed you put on the ground because you are tired of where you are if the word of god were a lie i would have died since because the risk i've taken with this word it would have killed me since but i believe him i believe him when i saw that seed today i was happy the joy that filled my heart i await the testimony that comes from it wanting a harvest that you have not scheduled through sowing is a waste of time is imagine now somebody who didn't go to the farm he has a land somewhere he just carries his wife and his children and carries a truck and he just goes to an empty place you will find wheat there but whoever sow january february down to april is smiling right now because he knows it's harvest time brothers and sisters i pray for us may god kill greed from our life 
this attachment to money listen this many people think wealthy people are the ones who are attached to money it's a lie wealthy people in the kingdom have become wealthy because they have conquered it your seed is an instrument that creates your future hallelujah learn to release seeds learn to release seeds learn to release seeds i'll never forget a gentleman who sent me a text he sowed a seed i remember it was when he sent me the text truly speaking i remember they sowed seeds and i was opening the envelopes most times it takes it honestly a while maybe some days before i even open the envelope to see what is there and pray on it and i opened the envelope and i saw five naira and a letter the guy said this five naira was his isaac i know you will laugh and say hey, hey, hey this stupid boy no i respected that because that that thing i knew will create a harvest and the guy i opened it and wrote some things like that and then i just felt led to pray for him do you know it didn't reach two weeks the guy sent me a text and said i have never in my life seen favor like this five naira it's not about the money it's about the heart somebody was tired of where how many jobless people have not shown anything and they keep moving around with cv what must tell you the devil is fighting you you carry a seed and say god please i'm married with three children no job this mockery must end i drop this and tie it to my job and then praise around that seed praise around the seed and your brothers and sisters say so this is what they are teaching you this is how these stupid men of god keep eating your money and all of a sudden the heaven opens breakthrough upon breakthrough you are praying to buy land oh lord please give me two million naira to buy land i now have 150 000. just top it up for me and god says you mustn't buy it just learn let me show you and all of a sudden someone stands up and blesses you i think it was you Jimmy. i was showing you was it yesterday i was showing him the documents of a property that was given to me recently i said god what is this what is this for as long as you sow whether you like it or not the law is that you must reap so if you have not sown anything stop stop saying god where is my harvest and he said what what are you saying a woman who does not take in is she expecting a child no sir no sir she do seasons of breakthrough in your life your seed is a weapon not just your prayer your seed is a weapon your seed is a weapon one mama called me one time i was led by god honestly i felt so i didn't know how to talk to her because she sounded like an elderly woman and she was praying for divine financial intervention i said mama please i want you to sow a seed not to me i i, I would never have the effort tree to tell that woman to sow into my life i'm sure that woman will be older than my mother i said please try connect with a seed and the woman said she doesn't have anything i say it's not true mama there is something you have what do you do she says she farms yam i say carry four or five tubers of yam find any church i said which church is close around your area she said there's living faith i said go there find four tubers of yam tie it and be praying singing any song in your language you know while you march to the pastor's um uh, what do you call it the pastor's office whether the pastor is eating the yam or not is not his business only a stupid man of god resents the seed of a desperate believer it's not whether you are more than 50 percent of the things people sow into my life i don't need it it's not for me i recognize what it is is god speaking to someone seed faith learn to connect learn to connect learn to connect learn to connect in first king 17 when our time is gone just write it we don't have to project it first king 17 from verse 7 to 6 from verse 7 to 16 first kings chapter 17 when you read from verse 7 to verse 16 the bible talks there about brook cherith when it dried during the famine 
And the Bible says that the Lord told Elijah to go to a place called Zarephath. And he said there was a widow there. God wanted to intervene in that widow's life. When the prophet got there, he said, give me water. She was running to go and bring water. And he said, please, and make some bread for me. And the woman said, I'm sorry, man of God. I respect you, but honestly, this is the last one I'm about to eat with my son so that we'll just wait until we die. And the prophet said, no, no. When you give, it does not end. When you give, you extend the life of whatever it is. The prophet was teaching her. He said, make it for me first. In our generation, they say that's a heartless and wicked and devilish prophet. But the moment she did that, the Bible says she lived off what was there until the famine was over. You can change your life. November, December is too short a time. No. November, December is too short a time, brothers and sisters. God can step into your life and do something in your life that you cannot imagine. Don't be surprised that you'll be celebrating New Year in your own house. Whereas right now you don't even have land. I'm talking to believers. Don't be surprised that you can give away up to 5, 10 million by December. Whereas what you have in your account now is not up to 10,000. Listen, I'm not talking nonsense. I'm not stupid. Don't be surprised. That after 10, 20 years that your wife has been buried, that she's going to celebrate New Year two months pregnant. You do every calculation, you know it's not up to two months, but she's two months pregnant. Don't ask where the child came from. That right now, you are not even sure where your certificate is because you are tired, you have thrown it somewhere. But don't be surprised that you will be managing a business by the end of this year. Is it not God we are talking about? Is it not the God of heaven we are talking about? Number four. The fourth key is the power of prophecy. The power of the prophetic. Weapons of supernatural intervention. The power of prophecy. Second Kings chapter 7 verse 1 to 8. We've already discussed it. Just write it down. Second Kings chapter 7 from verse 1 to 8. The story of Elisha in Samaria. And the abundance that came to an entire land. Because there was a divine intervention by prophecy. Hosea chapter 12 from verse 13. Please give it to us. The Bible says and by a prophet. Listen carefully. And by a prophet. It says... The Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. How did they come out of Egypt? By a prophet. Not by God. You would think God would say, oh, by me. Yes, it is by God. But the instrument that he used was a prophet. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. Listen. Listen. There are challenges that people go through in life that is totally needless. If only they can locate a genuinely anointed prophet of God, you can come out of a situation overnight. Some battles are totally needless. They are products of pride and ignorance. Take note of these things I'm saying. Pride and ignorance. Some battles are totally needless. There is enough grace and anointing to bail people out of it. A gentleman had been writing, I think it was Wayek or Neko, I can't remember, for over maybe six, seven years. I remember one time he came and he was crying. I didn't allow him to finish. I said, that's all right. Let me pray for you. It is done. And he just went and the guy testified that truly speaking, he answered nonsense in the exam. Because his brain had, he had stretched the thing. He has passed the age that he should be concentrating to be reading for work. And yet it came out. He had all credits like that. And he said, truly, this is my result. I say, of course, it's not your result. God gave you to help you move forward. Of course, it's not your result. When other people are celebrating their intelligence, you go to God and say, thank you. This one you gave me. There are things when other people are saying, I got, you turn to God and say, this one came from you. 
prophetic intervention. Brothers and sisters, God still has anointed men. Oh. Yes. An anointed man is not a man who speaks well. An anointed man is not a man who throws people under the anointing. There are people who are privileged by the election of grace. That God has put ancient, ancient possibilities within them for the sake of the body. Your own price is to believe. They may not look like it, but they carry it. What you have, you have. It was given to you. Are we together? I truly believe that someone tonight, I told us the remaining services for this year will be very strongly prophetic services. And it will start from tonight. Just the five minutes or so we have to pray. And then I speak over your life. When prophecy comes, receive it. Receive it. You can reject it. But you can receive it. Do you know? I listen to every koinonia message. This message now that is being preached. It's not Joshua Selman. This is the man of God teaching. Joshua Selman will listen to the man of God later in the week. And when it's time to prophesy, I will lift my hands and receive and pray in tongues. Otherwise, I will keep blessing and the anointing that came from the throne through me. Through me. I must also receive it by faith. Prayer point number one. Father, I am tired of where I am. I am tired. You are a changer of people's lives. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Father, I am tired of where I am, truly speaking. Lord, this year will not end like this. I've not yet seen any notable testimony in my life. And the year is about to end. Oh, God of heaven, arise, arise. Those online pray. Lord, the favor you said I will walk in, I am yet to see it manifest, and it is November. The prosperity that you said I will walk in, Lord, I believed you, I still believe you. So, we are desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. Lift your voice and pray. We are desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are desperate people. Tired of the status quo It's gotta be more than this It's gotta be more, gotta be more Gotta be more than this For desperate people do desperate things And we press in Gotta be more Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare over every mountain that stands between me and my result. Hear the word of the Lord. Be crushed into pieces. Lift your voice and pray. Shakatoko sote barata. In the name of Jesus, hear the word of the Lord. I speak over every mountain, mountain of witchcraft, mountain of delay. I crush you by the God of heaven.
Kapoto sote ketekete Ebrekete ko shoba rakata Lebros kata barakato shakata Ebrekete kete Those outside pray Online pray I decree and declare Hear the word of the Lord Who are down mountain Before Joshua Selman I command you become play Shena masadia Shena masadia Na mana na mali Araba la bosada da viara Hallelujah Say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare That every promise Hanging in the realm of the spirit I prophesy By the mystery of divine intercession You must manifest now Lift your voice and pray Find expression I give you a body My breakthrough Find expression My lifting Find expression My advancement Find expression I give you a body Manifest in my life Pray Find expression I've seen you in my dreams I've seen you in my visions I command you to manifest Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Everything I've lost. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Everything that should not have left me. But was taken away from me. I decree and declare return back to my destiny lift your voice and pray please be serious be serious pray every relationship that should not have left every finance that should not have left every favor every breakthrough I call you back every access every platform in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Please lift your hands. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. I decree and declare. By the anointing of the Spirit of God, I push you to the next level of your life. I push you to the next level of your life. And hear me, I decree. I don't know what stands your way. I come tonight in the name of Jesus and I crush it into pieces. The same way the Red Sea was divided. I command every obstacle to be divided in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Every physical scenario that must be created in the earth realm to force what is in the spirit to find expression, I schedule that event now in the name of Jesus. Hear me, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, what has tied you and limited you. That's how you thought breakthrough would come last year. It didn't come. I declare to you in these two months left, enter your rest. Enter your rest. Enter your rest. Enter your rest. Lift your hands. I want to prophesy over your finances. There is, there is the power to prosper. Listen, there is a grace that helps men prosper. In the name of Jesus, believe me as I pray this prayer for you. By the grace of God who has shown me mercy and grace, I prophesy to you. 
beginning from this night favor after favor strange financial favor i speak it to your life i speak it to your destiny i speak it to your life in the name of jesus any man sitting on your glory jacotos katabatea in the name of jesus i declare the earth opens up tonight and swallows them the spirit that eats up blessings when it's almost coming to you it comes to others when it's about your turn something cuts you off this is not for everybody but i'm prophesying to someone if your eyes saw it in the spirit i command your hands to hold it if you saw it in your dream i command your hand to hold it if you saw it in your visions i command your hand to hold it my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by has just disappeared a lady has been healed right now right now check yourself a lump in the breast i don't mean reduced it has just disappeared just like that <laughs> hallelujah 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 there were things I planned to do, but right now something has been stirred up in the spirit. And let's just ride with it. Lift your hands. He has been made Lord above thrones, dominions, and every name that has been named. I'm about to challenge principalities and powers. The powers that has kept you bound. Many of us are under yokes and spells of darkness. I tell you as you shout that name we will invoke his presence there will be a mighty deliverance mighty deliverance everywhere inside and outside at the count of three listen goodness at the count of three you're going to shout that name many of our issues and problems are tied to demonic oppressions but as you shout that name the sword from the hand of Elohim will strike through your life and cause a separation between you and anything God has not planted. There will be mighty deliverances. I see mighty deliverances that will happen even outside. Are you ready? At the count of three, shout it with all your heart and there will be breaking of curses and yokes. Are you ready now? One. Two, get ready, get ready. The fire of God is everywhere. Three, I command devils, come out, come out.
come out. Yokes, be broken. Yokes, be broken. Yokes, be broken. Yokes, be broken. I confront powers. I confront principalities. Activities of witchcraft by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside, outside, in the name of Jesus, everyone under the influence of every power that is not of God, I command those demons, go, 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 go. I give the chains for it, for it. I give the chains. Falling, I the chain. I the chain. I the chain. Break chains. Break. That's the command in the spirit. Break chains, break. It must leave you tonight. Break chains. Hallelujah. Straight up, God is going to be breaking the chains of delayed marriage. Lift your hands, everybody. Delay. The Lord is instructing me to cause that spirit that came from all kinds of ancestral activities. Believe it or not, Wickedness is real. It has tied down many of us, even maritally, especially our families. Hallelujah. You're going to shout that name, Jesus, one more time. And as you shout that name, anyone under the sound of my voice, whether you or your family members, you may not even know that this may be an influence over your life. But tonight in this pool of Bethesda, as you shout that name, my God will visit you and tear apart anything that is causing a delay. Lift your hands. Goodness, I see many ladies who will receive their deliverance right now. At the count of three, with the clash of the symbol alone. One, two, three. Now I cause that spirit. I cause that spirit. Powers, powers of darkness, spirit husband, spirit wife, I curse you, I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost, I curse you, bring them out, I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost, release their marriages, every spirit that you have been covenanted with, that is stopping you, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, bring them out. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage. Be open. Gates of marriage that has been tied down. Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. This is not all of it. Hallelujah. There must be a breaking. Right now it will happen. Some of you, it may not be directly on your life, but your family members. 
the sword of judgment is coming upon altars of darkness that say you will not marry him lift your hands my god i thank you for the fire of the holy ghost when i count three shout that name that power must let you go that power must let you go i come tonight with an apostolic unction in the name of jesus hear my sound in the realm of the spirit that at the count of three let god's people go one two three let them go i command the release exodus exodus from this land of delay exodus i prophesy i decree i declare establish it they must go tonight they must go tonight they must go tonight Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, just lift your hands. Just this row. Lift your hands. Because I see the angels of God standing. And I'm wondering why they are concentrated on this row. Listen. When I count three. I see the angels of God moving with cops, but they have fire in them and they'll be pouring it on people. It's still an aspect of deliverance. At the count of three, this will happen. Thank you, my God. One, two, three. Let the angels move right now. Let there be a movement, a stirring, a stirring. A stirring, a separation, a stirring by the power, the fire, the power, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it up, break it up, close, bring them out. I hear the chains falling, falling. I hear the, I hear the chains falling. There is power. In the name of Jesus, there is power. In the name of Jesus, there is power. In the name of Jesus, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel. The Lord is ministering to me. Gabriel. I give the chain. Gabriel, I hear the chain falling. I hear the chain. Bring this lady. Chains break. Chains. Let her go now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Look at this lady has been tied down. Hallelujah. This is the cause of hardship on our family. There's nothing that they do that will succeed. 
it doesn't matter what happens but right now i instruct you because i see you in the spirit realm go go right now go by the power of the holy ghost let her go the same thing is happening to that lady let her go now let her go one or shall lay your hands on her both of them both of them go Go right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command in the realm of the Spirit. Go. Go. Break chains. Hallelujah. Now listen. All the people in front here. Yeah. God brought them out. I'm not speaking to them. I'm speaking to every spirit that was identified. You know my voice. At the count of three, I instruct you to let God's people go. At the count of three, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, you are leaving God's people now. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Come out of them right now. Come out of them now. Bring that lady. Bring that lady. Hey! I hear the chains falling. This lady is acutely under demonic oppression. Acutely. Bring her. Change for me. Yeah. Yeah. I hear the chains falling. Come. Just leave her. She will come. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. I hear How can a lady do this? Come back. Come and kneel down here. Right now. Leave her. Leave her alone. Come right now. Hey. You just leave her. You will see the power of God in this place today. Hallelujah. Listen. I want to pray for people with pain in the chest. A number of people with pain around the chest. Pain around the chest region. Hallelujah. Lay your hands there right now. Ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Change. Leave her, she will come right here by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please lay your hands. As I pray for you, listen, a number of you are going to feel something. Just leave you. When that happens to you, please run and come out here. And you will literally feel something leaving you. When that happens, let's have those people here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lay one hand and lift one hand up. And let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just help me with a symbol. Right now, in the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed. Whatever is holding you. Peptic ulcer. Be healed. I command that spirit out of them now. Out of them now. Out of them now. That spirit, leave them now. Be healed. Be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. Now check yourselves. Check yourselves. Do what you couldn't do. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone with a severe pain on your kneecap. Just this kneecap. Very severe pain. In fact, it even affects you sometimes when you are walking. 
Where? Which of them? How long has it been? Okay. Lay your hands there. Both of you. Pastor, right? You're a pastor? Okay, no. I, I, lay your hands. That devil is a liar. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Huh? I've been having this knee problem. The bone is very tiny. The bone is tiny. And the load is heavy. And the load is heavy on it. Yeah. I even felt Hold my hands. Destroyed. It's okay. Bone grow. In the name of Jesus. Grow. I cast that devil. Grow. I command you. Grow. Grow. Lay your hands and I'll pray for you right now. As I lay my hands upon you. Please test yourself and do what you couldn't do. Thank you, Jesus. Let the power of God come upon you right now. Please check yourself as I pray for you. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. God is doing miracles already. Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? Yeah. Just. No, no, no. Come on, give Jesus praise. God is healing people right now. Any pain? Any pain? Don't pretend it. Don't worry. God is healing you. Are you feeling any pain? Do what you couldn't do before. Look at this. Come on now. Look at this. Thank you, Jesus. Hold my hands. God is going to set you free. Hold my hands. We need to pray for you. Because I see you lying down. Touch that guy. Just look at me. God is setting your family free. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, what is this that I'm seeing? I'm seeing money, but it's tied with snakes. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is bringing financial restoration. Lord, let it be. I stretch my hands by the force of the Holy Ghost, using Him as a point of contact in the name that is above all names. Let there be breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Victoria. Victoria. I'm hearing the name Victoria. Please, if I call your name or your case, just hurry up. We have a lot to do so that we can. Victoria. There are two Victorias outside. There are two Victorias that are supposed to come outside. Where are you coming from? Outside here. Yeah? Victoria. There's one more Victoria outside. Both of you are outside. The Lord will visit you. How are you, my dear? Are you married? You know why? Do you know why? That's one of the reasons why you came here, Abby. Is that not so? You were praying to God and you told God to visit you, man. Yes, sir. Is that, do you know me? No, sir. Have we talked with you? No, sir. The devil that has stopped your marriage must let you go, right? Amen. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. Because there was a time a man came into your life and he was he looked like he was serious uh, for reasons you cannot even explain. Yes, he sir. just gave flimsy reasons and left. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know why he left? I don't know. This is what I'm telling you. I see this all the time. I'm seeing the face of an old woman. It's not your face I'm seeing. This is what is driving men from you. It doesn't matter what kind of man comes. Something must happen and he will leave. Yes. But tonight, we see the chains falling. Hold my hands. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I need to pray for you too. Lay your hands on your stomach. If I don't pray for you, when it's almost time for marriage, they are going to tell you that there is a cyst growing in your stomach. Because sometimes you feel pain. Is that not? Oh, even now, even now pain you are yes. feeling pain. Yes, sir. Especially during your period. Yes. The pain is very I severe. Know, and you have sometimes even irregular is when it's supposed to stop. It doesn't stop at that time. Yes, it is this thing we want to destroy. Hold my hands. Break. Chains. Break. You will feel like fire going through your stomach. The pain will go right now. Thank you, Jesus. 
Check yourself. Check it. Do it yourself. Any pain. Any pain. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you. We call your husband, not a man, your husband. Wherever he is, I connect you. You will come and testify in the name of Jesus. This year, 2014, I lay my hands upon you and I release you to your marital destiny. Come, my dear. Where's your mother? Is she fine? I need to pray for her. The devil wants to put sickness in your mother. Father, for your mercy. I want to pray for somebody. Listen. This is a family and there is no reason to be embarrassed. That lady on pink, just touch her. Come. No, just where she, she stand there. Look at me. Lift your hands and look at me. Just look at me. Father, as you deliver her, let the power of God go to her family. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the power of God touch you and set you free and set your family members free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you all out? Eh? You are all Victoria. There's someone here. Please don't feel embarrassed. They took you to a harbor list. Listen. They took you to a harbor list and they gave you something to drink. Please, who is that person? I'm not saying you are bad. This is not, this is a family. Please. It's very important. The Lord is instructing me. I want to pray for you and break that thing. Please. This is a family thing. It's not even like it's just you. Please. We need to break this. There's, there's no reason to be embarrassed. Hallelujah. Can I pray for your mother? Hold my hands. Father, sickness will never return to the mother. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, Victoria. Look at me. May God visit your family. Please. This person I've spoken about, please make sure you come out. Don't, don't be embarrassed. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. They took you to a harbor list. They gave you something. One kind of, you are the one? Is he the one? You are the one? This thing is affecting you. Wait, stand up. Look at me. Don't feel bad. Just stand up. Stand up. Let me talk to you. Look at me. If I don't pray for you, you will die this year because this thing is going to kill you. Are you getting my point? That's why I called you out. Please remove his glasses. Hold it for it. Let, me, let it not break. Hold my hands. Because this guy sees dead people in his dreams. And he doesn't even know why. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. The power of God will come through your body right now. And you'll be delivered. Blotting out every handwriting. And ordinance. Right now. Be free. Everything you have taken inside your body that is destroying you. Go! Be free right now. Sister, let me pray for you. Look at me. There is bad luck in your life. Everything works well for others until it gets to your point. Huh? Is that true? We need to pray very seriously. Even you, you are worried about your relationship with Jesus Christ. Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right? You see, listen, it's either you are for God completely. Part of the reason why a lot of people get into trouble is that you're halfway with God, halfway with something else. Hallelujah. Tonight, part of what will happen to you is that a fire will be planted in your spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you, my dear? Look at me. Why am I seeing rings on your hand? Physically, there are no rings. But I'm seeing rings on all your ten fingers. Look at me. I need to pray for you. 
huh? you need to be very very serious with God welcome home God loves you and he wants to transform your life huh? but for now you'll be delivered right thank you Jesus right now I curse this spirit leave her now I see you in the realm of the spirit and it's time for you to go take away this devilish thing you are put in her life right now out I hear the chains falling You are not standing in for yourself but for your elder sister God wants to visit her lay your hands on your stomach because what is happening to her will happen to you Lord I take out anything you did not plant in her sister's body even right now by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I need to break the spirit of lust from your life. Huh? I need to break it. I'm not saying you're a bad girl. Are you getting my point? Hold my hands. Just look at me. You are a devil of darkness. Leave this girl now. Go! Out of her now. Break chains. Your eyes is open, but in the spirit you are blind. And God needs to open your eyes. That's why you are in a lot of confusion. Father, let her eyes be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break the spirit of timidity from your life. And you too. Same thing. Same thing. Out! Leave her. God has not given us the spirit of fear. on your stomach just look at me Lord set her free from this pain something will come upon you right now and that demonic pain will go let her go hallelujah hallelujah Where's the woman that came with her family from Abuja? Is she here? Quickly, madam, come with all your children. Please, all of them. Celebrate them as they come quickly. Break. Your time of visitation has come. That devil that oppresses you. Just give flowing strings. Please just play something for me. Hallelujah. Witchcraft. This is what is destroying the whole family. Witchcraft. This is not just the issue of prayer and fasting. This is the issue of deliverance out of this. Right? Where is the son? Come. Something comes upon you. You feel like something comes upon you. And when it comes upon you, you do a lot of destructive things. You will even have power that ordinarily you won't be able to have. Is that true? You feel that kind of thing? Yeah. You'll be delivered. Yeah. Right? Amen. Madam, I need to pray even for the finance of the family. It's not like you are lazy, but you are suffering for nothing. Is that true? Please help us. Is this mic working? Hallelujah. Okay, don't worry. We'll just use one. Is that? Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. Huh? When someone works so hard, so hard and then in the end of it there is nothing to write home about it's an error but the Lord will correct it my brother the Lord bless you you're born again you love Jesus yes, just you or your children myself and my children hold my hands my brother look at me Jesus will set you free right now right you believe that hold my hands let's cast that devil of darkness out of your life Father, by your mercy, 
in the name of Jesus. Go! That's the end. It's free. I need to pray for you. You're going to feel like fire from my hands to your hands. And within two weeks, you will have a major financial restoration. Two weeks. You believe it? Jesus, confirm your word right now. Out of her. Now. Out of her. That devil of darkness. I command financial restoration for you. Where are the children? Both of you. You love God. You are going to teach the word. You. Huh? This boy, he's going to love God. And he's going to... You know this now. God has already told you. Yes, he has been... God has told you. He, he, he has, has been, been into it. He has, he has been, been into it. Yes. Because the Lord showed me. I saw him standing with a Bible. And the Lord says he will teach the word. Hallelujah. I'll pray for you. You don't teach the Bible just with English. There is an anointing. Tonight I lay my hands upon you. Let that spirit of wisdom and understanding. Come upon you right now. Step into a new dimension. I open your understanding. To understand scriptures in the name of Jesus Christ. You love God, but we must pray so that because of the quest for establishment, you will not join bad people. You want to be successful, but what God does not give you, you cannot get. Huh? Because there are bad people around your life. You are a good person, but there are all kinds of bad people, and we must pray. Huh? Lay your hands on your chest. There's something that will leave you. You did not even know when you started fraternizing with what is not of God. But tonight, my God, let there be deliverance. You are literally going to feel something leaving your chest right now. Let him go. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. Restore this family, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Go and return with your testimony. Where is the guy that has been skipping from university to university? His sister brought him. Are you here? The last Nsuka. Bring him quickly. His time of deliverance has come. Everywhere this guy goes, spirits torment him. He has, come, and, come and stand here. This is your night of visitation. It's over. Look at this guy. Listen. I want you to appreciate what God is doing in this place. There are people whose lives are, I'm not saying clap. The greatest gift you can give anybody is not money, is not car, is to bring him to a place where he can find genuine restoration. Hallelujah. How many universities? Come, you are come. Are you not the one who brought him? How many universities? Same university. They've they've driven him twice. Twice. You think it's normal for somebody to get admission twice? UNN, right? Nsuka. Yes, sir. God will deliver him. Come, my brother. It's not, it's not like you are lazy. Huh? It's not like you are lazy. Because I'm seeing something like foam on his mouth. And you cannot even articulate. It's, like, it's as if you are manipulated. God is going to set you free. You believe this? Yes. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, reign forever. I worship you. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Something will leave you right now, and you'll be free. Let him go now. Lord, restore to him the years that the canker worm has eaten. Restore to him the years that the palmer worm has eaten in the name of Jesus Christ. Restore to him. Restore to him. Let him rise up a brand new person. I worship Hallelujah. If there's any case of barrenness here, whether for yourself or for your loved ones, please come out here. If you're married, 
and you're experiencing barrenness, let them stand in the front. If you're standing here for yourself, please don't just be emotional. We're not joking here. This is very serious business. Look at me. Look at me. Listen. Let me tell you something and don't please don't find it offensive. Every case of barrenness is demonic. What did I say? Every. every I don't care what the doctors say. Whether they say there is a womb or no womb. The, the person who is having this situation may not be a bad person. But I'm telling you, it must be resolved spiritually. Hallelujah. Please keep playing. You're tired. Play the strings. Ladies and gentlemen, see the number of people standing for loved ones. How many of you are standing in for yourself? For your sister, just look at me. Look at me. She's going to be delivered right now where she is. From me. Don't worry. Just look at me. Just look at me. Let her go. You are feeling something coming up on you right now. Let her go. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whether they say fibroid or no womb is irrelevant. I'm just telling you that this is a demonic issue. But when God steps in, you won't go back. You can't go back to the way it used to be. Before his presence came and changed me. Just try to connect and hold your hands together and lift it up. Madam, come let me pray for you. Look at me. How many years? And then he stopped. We are going to pray. Look at me. This is a family thing. Hold on. Because it's not only you. Who else? My junior sister. Your junior sister has the same thing. She has never had a child. That's to tell you this is a spirit. But as God sets you free, he will set her free too. Onegi kagi ekele diwigi onye ne mema onye di kagi ekele diwigi lay your hands on your stomach onye na poria look at me onye di kagi go and have your child diwigi onye ne mema Father in the name of Jesus onye di kagi I open up your womb to receive Baby boy, you will come back with the baby boy. Lift your hands and sing. Oh, get it, can't get it. Oh, get it, can't get it. Oh, get it, Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I'm going to pray for you. Whether you are standing in for yourself or for your family members. The fire of God will come upon you and that person in question will be released. You are standing as a point of contact. My God, I pray that from my left to my right, in the name of Jesus, let the angel of fruitfulness move across this place at the count of three. One, two, three. Right now, wombs be open. Wombs be open. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Miracle children. Take it for your loved ones. Take it. Take it from the realm of the spirit. Whoever you are standing in for. I command all medical complications. Go. All medical complications. Go. I cause fibroid. I cause every cyst. In the name of Jesus, all those who do not have wombs, we put brand new wombs now. Brand new wombs in the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost is burning a lot of things, burning a lot of chaff. Every spirit of miscarriage, 
I cause it right now. I cause it right now. I cause it right now. The spirit of miscarriage. Every spirit that comes to eat up children in the womb. I arrest you. You are bound. You remain bound. Hallelujah. I prophesy to every one of you here. Make sure you tell your loved ones we prayed for them. That in the name that is above all names. They will not only take in. They will give birth like the Hebrew women. We forbid CS in the name of Jesus. They will give birth normally. No devil will eat up any child. There will be no miscarriage. And for those who have stayed a long time. We command twins. We command triplets. Let there be a restoration. I provoke it by the hand of God. Please don't think we are just entertaining. Prophecy does not just reveal. It creates. It creates. It creates. I tell you, a lot of things are happening. Pregnancy is not just when a man meets a woman. Mary said, be it unto me. We put miracle children in their wombs right now. From the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please go back to your seat. We see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, if you came here specifically for healing, I want to minister to the sick right now. Specifically for healing, or you brought someone sick, now is your time, please. Quickly. Ushers, coordinate them so that they will line up very well. You came here with any infirmity, please. If you brought someone, now is the time to bring them out. The worship team will lead us in a powerful time of worship as we rebuke that devil. No matter how far you are, wherever you are, please find your way to the front. You came here for healing. It's called a miracle service. It's not just a name. Please, I need to pray for sick people fast because we need to release breakthroughs in other areas. There are people who your own is not sickness. Your own is breakthrough. Please just line up. Those under the anointing, just leave them. There is a pool. Some of you, as you are standing here right now, the power of God will even begin to touch you before we minister. Now we are going to do it very fast. Hallelujah. Listen. It doesn't matter what your sickness is. Right? The anointing is not just the ability to heal. It's the ability to bring solutions to any kind of problem. Are you getting my point? So while you are standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I'm not going back the same. I'm tired. This is it. This is it. Worship team leaders, Bishop, please come help me. Pastor Williams, hallelujah. Please, those of you who are seated, make sure you are not just seated watching. Be praying in tongues. We will minister very quickly. In case you are seated and you've not written your prayer request, let's save time. Now is the time to start writing your prayer request. And our online community, those streaming online, please, they can bring their prayer request. Hallelujah. Father, thank you because of your power. Let every sick body be healed. Let every sick body be healed in the name of Jesus.
What's our genotype? What's our genotype? I'm not her. Who brought her? Mother, where are you? Where's the mother? You are the mother. What's her genotype? SS. She's SS. Don't worry. We're going to change it right now. Huh? Not just her, but this is something that will need to happen in the family. There is sickness parading itself as blood condition. It's not blood condition, anything. Change this lady's genotype right now, baby. Let SS change to AA right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. And I cast the spirit of infirmity from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection in your body, in Jesus' name. Jesus. There is What's wrong with you, madam? Jesus. Hold on, please. Your son, too, is SS. All of you are SS. Huh? You, too, you are SS. Hallelujah. Madam, don't cry. Weep not. For there is one who is worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll. Hallelujah. Your child, too. Can somebody collect the child, please? So that I'll pray for her. He's sleeping, so just let him continue his sleep. Father, we change his genotype right now in the name of Jesus. And we rebuke sickness. Please hold my hands. I need to pray for you. There is a lot of poverty in your life. Look at me. Why do people hate you? Huh? Is that true? What? I can't understand why. How can they just hate you just like that? Look at me. The enemy has done this. But tonight God visits you. Change her story, oh God. Change her story. You will return with testimonies of dramatic breakthrough in Jesus' name. All right, let's save time. Healing in your name. Jesus. As I pray for you, as you go back to your seat, make we sure you check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Say Jesus. A glory out of her now. God. Out of her now. That devil of darkness. God be healed now. Out of her. A spirit of infirmity. God is a glory. Be set free now.
change that medical result. Imela, Imela, Okaka. somebody a lady outside there is one lady the power of God will come mightily upon her please bring her in I need to speak to her the power of God will come very mightily on one lady very very mightily I can't remember why I called you people honestly let me pray for you your father where's your father is in this meeting where is he I need to talk to him you are the best eh? he's not around I mean he's here you mean he's in town he's in town he's not okay I thought he was around I need to talk to him go and tell him that the gates of delay has been shattered look at me look at me does it make sense to you what I'm saying go and tell your father that the gates of delay has been shattered Father, confirm your word. I give you praise. Your hands will bring bread to your table. You are a creative person. Make use of your hands. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to specifically deal with certain things right now hallelujah um, I'm not going to ask you to come out but I hope that they came out here we want to rebuke all kinds of incurable diseases I just want to take one or two minutes and rebuke incurable diseases 
because if we do not help God's people medically is incurable HIV hepatitis all these satanic things around make sure you never believe these things and settle on them believing that that's how we would be so please stand up everybody stand up please Please rise up everybody. We want to speak against every medical report that the doctor has said nothing can be done about it. And in case you are here and any of your loved ones is in the sick bed, please connect with them even as we pray right now. Hallelujah. Father, I pray right now specifically for incurable diseases we depend on you and we ask for your mercy without your mercy these people are on their way to death but I thank you because you are the resurrection and you are the life and right now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands anyone with HIV in this place I declare be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ HIV be healed in the name of Jesus cancer be healed in the name of Jesus every form of cancer every form of cancer be healed in the name of Jesus every kind of hepatitis right now in this place I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus Christ hepatitis be healed be gone in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. For blood groups, we are going to deal with that one when I minister prophetically. Please lift your prayer requests. Pass it to the person at the last, at the last end. Ushers, please walk around all over this building. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is ministering to me. I want to specially pray for families with uncompleted building projects. Please find your way quickly and just stand here. The Lord wants to minister. Just one word I will speak. I want you to believe. I'm not saying you want to build a house. Please. The power of God is touching people and changing uncompleted projects. Uncompleted projects. Please believe what I'm saying. I'm not just playing pranks here. As you're standing here, the Lord is going to set people free. Okay, if, if there's no space, just stand where you are and then I'll pray for you. Lift your hands, everybody. It will surprise you. The Bible says how that the hand of God came Lift your hands. The hand of God came upon Elijah the prophet and he ran. The Bible says he overtook the chariots of Ahaz down to Jezreel. I want to pray. We are going to pray for everybody prophesying speed but I want to pray because the Lord is ministering to me. Specifically for building projects. Some of them are tied down because of finance. Some of them are tied down because of court issues. Some of them are tied down because of diabolic demonic things it doesn't matter what category sir or Gaza, God is going to visit you because your issue is it looks like it's money but it's not money this is witchcraft God is going to set you free are you getting what I'm saying lift your hands please my God I pray goodness there will be a lot of mighty miracles I want you to believe Many of you are going to feel literally like fire. It will come on your right hand. It will come on your right hand in a very powerful way. All across here right now, the angel of the Lord will move right now. Right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, move right now. Everything stopping any uncompleted project. Your right hand, the power of God is a prophetic language. 
the right hand of God is power and by that power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus I command every uncompleted project be completed now in the name of Jesus be completed now in the name of Jesus every power stopping any building project I challenge you right now in the name of Jesus every lack of finance responsible I command supplies from heaven supplies from heaven supplies from heaven supplies from heaven every land issue in this place every court issue we resolve it here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ go and return with mighty testimonies let the hand of God the finishers anointing let it come upon you and upon your loved ones a finishers anointing that unction that comes to finish what you have started receive it right now in Jesus name God bless you please run back to your seat submit your prayer request very quickly hallelujah please listen there are a number of people here the Lord is ministering to me Mike can you play strings who is playing please play strings 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 just play strings hallelujah the Lord is showing me a few people here please listen you had a dream and in the dream either a dog or a serpent beat you please come out there are a number of people in that kind of situation God is ministering to me that devil is a liar and what please if, if this is if you are part of these people I have mentioned please come out a dog or a serpent I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit is showing me because this is very demonic that lady is, is, is one of the people and she will be delivered right now no matter where you are hiding even if you didn't come out here as I pray the power of God will locate you it's a very serious situation please stand up everybody Please stand up, everybody. Balayo, you're just going to clash the symbol for me. I'm going to pray. Because this is a very demonic thing. The Lord is ministering to me. This is the deliverance of someone right now. A snake or a, or a dog, an animal, beat you in the dream. It didn't create any effect, but you may not know what it is causing to you right now goodness i see a pruning fork an angel of the lord standing with a pruning fork hallelujah at the count of three as they clash the simba there will be mighty deliverances here and some of you in the crowd as it's happening to them it will happen to you hallelujah father right now let your power begin to move every demonic object in your body right now at the count of three come out Jump out and go. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Out of them. Out of them. Some people in the congregation, it will touch you there too. Out of them. Every foul spirit. I'm going to lay my hands on everybody. Out of them. Out of them. Out of them, out of them, out of them. Please help them. Devil of darkness, out of them, out of them. Come out, come out. Everything that has not been planted by my father that is responsible for your limitation. I command deliverance 
I command deliverance. I command deliverance. You will be delivered mightily. This is a demonic thing on you. Release her now. Release her now. Now. Out. Release her now. Release her now. You must let her go. 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 Let her go. Out. Come out. Out, out, go, go, go. Every devil, remove every demonic ring, every demonic chain, every demonic ring, every demonic chain. Let God's people go right now. Go, release her right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Bring that baby. Go. Let her go. Now. Let her go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Take off everything. Take your property. Pack your load on your back. Get set. Go, 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 go. 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 Out of her now. Thou devil of darkness. Out of her. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. I break covenants. I break yours. Every act of witchcraft. I plead the blood and I set you free. Now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, this is the root cause of many problems in our lives and our families. Preachers have told us once you are born again, it's all right. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. You are seeing it by yourself that it's not all right. There is an operation of the kingdom that must separate you with darkness. Some of these people what is happening to them is responsible for stubbornness, immorality and we come and preach in church we say stop it it can't be stopped till that devil gives way bring this lady for me let her go now once and for all remove this demonic ring I see a lot of rings on her feet on her hands remove it and pack your load and go 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 see bro you should thank me for what I'm doing I'm preparing your wives and husbands you just get up and come and meet a lady and then you don't pray you see why we tell people to be spiritual that's why many people keep wondering why will a brother come to me and run away or why will a sister come I break covenants this is an usher this is our own usher go go I see you in the spirit and I command you to go This spirit that is tormenting this lady, the Lord is showing me this thing has been in this family for 178 years. This is what God is showing me. 
it has nothing to do with her out in the name of Jesus Christ let's save time have you submitted this father let none of these people return with any influence it must let them go it must let them go hallelujah so you see a student will write jam and write wayek and enter the school and all of a sudden become dull and people keep insulting this child is not good you think people just smoke because they want to smoke or they sleep around just because they want to sleep around brothers and sisters there are influences and it takes the power of the holy spirit to keep the devil where he belongs so that the people of God can enter the reality of their inheritance that's why you see people who keep testifying oh breakthrough just started happening in my family you may not know what has been limiting them that's why here we don't just heal the sick I told you the anointing is the power of God to solve problems any kind of problem it's not just healing it's not just wheelchairs there are destinies that are tied down and they need the power of God you will be amazed that after you leave this meeting tonight doors will just be opening you will see how easy it is and then you will know that something happened to you it doesn't matter whether you came out here or not once you are under the influence of this sound something is happening to you hallelujah I want to pray on this request right now hallelujah many of you have communicated your thoughts and that of your family members right here please if anyone has not submitted your request do that very fast as we pray on these requests I don't care what you wrote here may this be the last time you will see it in the name of Jesus Christ every pharaoh and every egypt that you wrote and dropped here as surely as the lord god lives this will be the very last time hallelujah stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues bishop come please pastor williams come as we pray on the request pray in tongues Pray in tongues. Make sure you are praying in tongues. Visitation, oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people, oh God. Let there be breakthroughs. Visit your people. Visit your people. Visit your people. Visit your people. She break the ba la 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 ba. Onye. She get it get it ba 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 ba. Ora kata ba la la ba. Please stretch your hands. Connect with us. All those online. They should connect with us. Lord, let this be the last time. Thank you, Father. 
because with you nothing is impossible with you no request is impossible anything that is not in existence can be created father we thank you because this request cannot defy your power thank you jesus because it is possible thank you jesus we see the answers lord we receive in the name of jesus thank you father thank you jesus because from this night forward we we'll begin to see the manifestations of everything we wrote here in the name of jesus thank you for healing thank you for breakthrough for families thank you for jobs thank you for marriages thank you holy ghost thank you jesus we celebrate you oh god in jesus mighty name hallelujah we declare and we speak over these requests we turn them into testimonies we turn them into testimonies we turn them into testimonies in the name of jesus christ hallelujah if you're a minister of the gospel and you came you came from another place what i mean minister make sure you're a preacher minister of the gospel you're a ministry and you came from outside of this state please come out i want to minister to you right now hallelujah is there anyone like that please quickly quickly let's save time just come and line up here the Lord will ignite you tonight. Hallelujah. Do ministry with integrity. Do ministry with truth. Ministry is not about money or flamboyancy or manifestation or going on air has no nothing to do with that hallelujah ministry with integrity with the fear of the lord that who you are in the open is who you will be in the secret the secrets of the lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant i want to pray for you that god will characterize your life and your ministry with signs and wonders that struggling will end for you in the name of Jesus Christ lift your hands as I pray for you my God in the name of Jesus let something come upon them in the name of Jesus let something come upon them by the power of the Holy Ghost let something come upon them in the name of Jesus let something come upon them let something come upon them in the mighty name of Jesus we're about rounding up please rise up the prophetic ministration is the greatest part of this meeting as far as I'm concerned. Please stand up everybody. This is the moment I want you to shout Amen. We're about to open doors, breakthroughs of all sorts in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Wherever you can hear my voice, make sure that you shout a big Amen. Please lift your hands. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. It said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. This is not the doing of any man. What you see is an election of grace. When God calls people, he empowers them. There are vessels today carrying anointings that can change people's situations and change people's story. Hallelujah. And I'm about to pray for you that something will truly open up in your life. This is the part you get to receive. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. Can you play the keyboard, Mike, please? Please lift your hands. I want you to shout Amen with everything that you have.
lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted up O ye everlasting door every gate limiting your progress in the name of Jesus we shatter that gate into pieces I shatter it into pieces into pieces I command gates 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 hear ye the word of the Lord gates I command Ephata be open be open be open be open gates of marriages gates of restoration be open anyone trusting God for a job here in the name that is above all names I command miracle jobs now miracle jobs now miracle jobs now I provoke your destiny help us may they find you may they help you may they honor you for every limitation you have experienced in your life and your finances in the name that is above every other name I command breakthrough receive breakthrough receive breakthrough in every area of your life breakthrough in your academics breakthrough every result that is not your own we change it tonight we change it tonight let the angel of God go to every faculty every department we command change any family that has been victimized in this place any family that has been victimized in the name that is above all names whoever plan evil against your family we judge them this night let the sword of judgment rest upon evil to us let the sword of judgment whoever said your family will not lift up their heads may my God judge them may my God judge them hallelujah every ordinance of darkness every enchantment every spell that has been written over your life that you will not become what God died what Jesus died for you to become this night we blot out those handwritings we set those altars on fire those shrines on fire and we release you anyone here who has suffered delay of any kind I don't know what area you have suffered delay or your loved ones but I want to pray for you right now my Bible says and I will restore to you the years canker worms can eat time they can eat years of men's lives but I pray my God and my King right now I shout it in the spirit restoration 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 receive it restoration I prophesy I decree restoration of joy of peace of finances of opportunities hallelujah there are some of you because of your mistakes of the past certain things have happened in your life and like Samson many people are laughing at you and mocking you that will your strength return I want to prophesy to you just like the hair of Samson grew back I call forth anointings that left because of indiscipline I call back opportunities that left people 
because they misused it. Reketekete, mambotopota, setetetete. I call it back. I call it back. The God who changes times, may He change times to your favor. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. There will be impartations right now. It is vain to attempt to serve God without the empowerment of the Spirit. There are many of you who are passionate about the things of God. What you need is fire in your life. What you need is grace. What you need is authentic unction. I'm going to pray for you. Let the men around you know you are serving a living God. Lift your hands. It's going to clash the cymbal. And I'm going to begin to speak. And there will be impartations of gifts. Prayer altars will come alive. Dry bones will come alive. Make sure. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You're going to shout the name Jesus once. And I'm going to begin to speak. Many of you, my God, I pray. Especially for those who have never had encounters. Dramatic, deep encounters. Let these encounters swallow up spiritual laziness. Swallow up prayerlessness. Right now, shout the name Jesus once. Take it now. Receive it. The gift of the Holy Ghost. Fire. Fire. Take it. Take it. Inside and outside. Fire. The spirit of prophecy. Receive it. The healing anointing. I release it upon you. Go and heal the sick. Receive it. The healing anointing. Take it. Prophesy. Visions. I command visions. Visions. Let the vistas of the spirit be opened up to you. Every gift available for your enriching. I command prayer fire. Take it now. Take it now. Prayer fire. Prayer fire. Prayer fire. Reketetete e prokotoba mambrakata e koske e bandapa reketetete reketetete e prokotoba. I found the fire on your prayer altar. It comes back alive. I pray for you right now. The Bible says, Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness, and that oil sets you above your fellows. The anointing for distinguishing. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Everywhere you go, be set apart. Be distinguished. Take it now. Hallelujah. 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 And the Bible says, Esther went to a man called Haggai, the one who took care of the virgins of the king. And he gave her a particular ointment to keep rubbing for one year. And she passed the king once and he found favor. I want to pray for you. That anointing that can cause you to ride sweatlessly that grace for favor in the name that is above all names. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Shake up, Baba. Shake it. 
Mamprotoskopa Shotekete Tekete Baba 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 Mamprotekete Yes, be distinguished. The favor of the Lord is upon you. The favor of the Lord is upon you. It marks you. The favor of the Lord is upon you. It marks you. Hallelujah. 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 There are many of us who are praying and say, Lord, what was I born for? Why did you bring me here? What was I born to do? I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. It says, Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written. No confusion. A purposeless man will never find fulfillment. I want to pray that God will grant you revelation of the reason why you were born that out of the seven billion people in the earth you were born for a reason therefore my god let the angel that brings revelation visit your people in the name of jesus through dreams through visions through prophetic confirmations receive the mandate of your life receive the blueprint of your life Hallelujah. Every habit that you are struggling with that is mocking your Christian experience, I don't care what it is pornography, masturbation, anything that is compromising your Christian experience. Right now, I judge the spirits behind it. I judge the spirits behind it. And I command them to let you go. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free from every habit. Be free. Hallelujah. For those of you who do not have a zeal to study the word again, it's not like you're not serious. You don't even know what has happened to you. There's no zeal to study the word. Some of you are finding yourself, you were once on fire. In terms of your word life, some of you would pray through the night, some of you would study. Suddenly distractions happen. I want to pray right now. Son of man, can these bones live again? And he said, only down the west. I prophesy to you, every dead spiritual life in this place, my God, I pray, let the wind, the east wind that reawakens dead things, that is responsible for resurrection from the east side of the spirit, let that wind blow over your life and bring restoration now. 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 hallelujah listen to me god wants to make the best out of your life but you must be willing to yield yourself there are two kinds of people in this place right now there are those who have been taking these things of the spirit just playing around you may be born again but your life is so unpredictable you're not serious you know that you need to make it right there are others who have never made this decision for jesus you go to church you have a christian name hallelujah and there are others who are backslidden completely and they need to be restored as i count one to five those three categories of people whether you've given your heart to the lord and you found yourself derailing or you are praying and saying lord i want to be serious with you from today or you are saying, Lord, I'm surrendering everything. As I count one to five, please, I'd like you to run like your life depends on it. God is waiting for you right here. One, please don't wait for anybody. Two, inside and outside. It doesn't matter what you have done. Run, run, 
run i didn't say walk run run like your life depends on it three Jehovah, we praise you. Jehovah, we praise you. We praise your name. We praise your name. I want to pray for you lift your hands i salute you for making this decision this is not unto a man but this is unto god hallelujah i like you to say this after me from the depths of your heart please don't play games with god god is willing to make your life better than you can ever imagine now is the time to shame the devil and say enough is enough enough i'm tired enough is enough say after me convincingly from the depths of your heart Lord Jesus I repent of my sins you're not reciting a point make sure you understand what you're saying I repent of my sins and I love you with all my heart forgive me today I make Jesus the Lord of my life I ask for forgiveness cleanse me wash me I receive your life into my spirit from today forward ever and backward never I denounce sin and Satan and I live unto righteousness Holy Spirit come and live in me make me a new person in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted and I'll pray for you father receive these ones into your kingdom and your family let today be the beginning of a dramatic and a genuine transformation I break them free from wrong companies and Lord I pray that they will be empowered in the inner man to do mighty things for you hallelujah praise the lord now look at me every one of you i congratulate you this is the best decision you would have ever made in your life and i want you to know that no matter what went wrong in your life this is a fresh start hallelujah now tomorrow listen please tomorrow bishop stan will be meeting with you at the chapel just close to the chapel bookstore for the experience of the baptism in the holy spirit you need it they'll be guiding you sharing with you a few foundational things it's very very important time is what sir 5 p.m prompt please 5 p.m prompt for now i'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving at you and they'll have your information we'll pray for you and we'll follow you up god bless you please follow them God bless you. Follow them very quickly. Hallelujah. Let's take the following announcements very quickly. If you're worshiping with us for the first time, this is your first time. Aside from those who are going out, if this is your first time of worshiping with us here at Koinonia, we love you and we want to bless you. Please, wherever you are, just find your way to the front right now. God bless you. Please find your way quickly, quickly. Koinonia, celebrate them. This is not your best. There are people who came all the way from Jos, all the way from Abuja, different parts. Thank you so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. This is Koinonia, the ministry put together by Eternity Network International. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate and we celebrate you. We meet every Friday. This is not our venue. Our venue is CGC. We had to make an arrangement because there was something going on there. So we'll be there from next week. We're back to our venue.
the lord bless you thank you so much for coming your life will never remain the same in jesus name stretch your hands saints of god and just bless them pray for them may the lord bless you we cause the heavens to be open over you we bless you with hunger for spiritual things in the name that is above all names may you experience the hand of god in dramatic ways you will understand the intimacy of the holy spirit in the name of jesus thank you once again for coming may the lord bless you may the lord honor you hallelujah i like you to just follow the ushers they'll communicate a few things to you and you'll be back thank you so much koinonia celebrate them very quickly god bless you dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.